is up lounge lizards welcome to another episode of leaders of hey nate what's going oh hey hi nate oh yeah <laughs> dude the eclipse is over buddy is it safe it's, it's is it over safe? yeah no it's good you're good yeah you're good it's over it's done oh, okay <laughs> welcome to episode 71 uh or 70 sun uh as the case may be where we talk about all things mythic legions cosmic legions figure obscura customs and other mythic related action figures and stuff we're your hosts uh my name is trevor one six shooter on instagram my co-host as always nate strong at corona four bill the door claire drunowski uh is a little wiped out he's been uh I think he's talking about it, but he's been doing some some jury duty, and <laughs> he's just wiped out from jury duty. So uh, he called out um, a little while ago, but we did because this community is so great, and we have so many uh, friends and and fantastic uh, uh, adjacent legions lounge adjacent uh, hosts to choose from. <laughs> uh we found you know, one of our favorites and a new member permanent member now of the off-world cast on the let's go off-world channel customizer uh and apparently now toy photographer i don't know you know we'll see what happens <laughs> man of many talents <laughs> it's our friend joe gonzalez what's joe. up joe what's hey, up buddy? Joe. hey guys How's going here, thanks everybody? man <laughs> thanks for jumping on i appreciate it man we uh yeah we got no, a lot no, to talk about yeah, yeah for sure and a, i think the uh, last minute audible <laughs> yeah i know really it really was <laughs> i was throwing out to it well luckily i'm old enough to be boring so i'm rarely doing anything that is time sensitive <laughs> you know well like, I, oh, I don't i was so busy I, partying tonight i can't make it no yeah i didn't want to i didn't want to put it out there but that's kind of why I, I hit you up i figured <laughs> like you were just watching you just got done watching matlock reruns and some wheel of fortune and my or, plans know. for this evening was to watch <laughs> legions lounge like that was what i had set aside oh for, oh so. perfect oh, yeah. what a coincidence so now out. you yeah. now you can watch and uh participate a little bit yeah heck yeah um so before we get started please take a second to smash that like button it helps uh helps us out helps people uh know that we're on i don't know how that works curtis asked me how that works the other day i, I just you know i take it as rote somebody told me that it's like you know <laughs> people hit it. the like button it's like action is happening so come over here and join the channel um after the show please leave us a comment uh no matter how short that helps us uh the show out as well helps the channel grow and you know voice your opinion uh, no matter what it is we got a lot to talk about tonight so um there'll be lots of things to leave a comment about um Indeed. as always super chats are appreciated and we'll guarantee your comment gets read uh, and that's the reason we can do uh, giveaways and stuff like that. We might do a giveaway tonight. We'll see. I don't really have anything in mind, but uh, there's always stuff laying around that we can we can give away. So, uh, Nate, who we got in the chat? Who so do far? we have? Yeah. We have Mr. Dave Orkin. Yeah. First up, Blake, hey, hey. aka Recon Rage, who happened to be speaking of Bill was on Bill's show last Thursday night. That's Between right. Him and Larry was sort of like Hans and Franz. I know, I know. As much as as much as Bill has been working out, he was a little tucked right. into the corner there with the with the right. massive shoulders. Yeah, I don't believe the, he's uh, he's tired on. I think he's sitting at gym tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's it's see who we got. We got Kirby Smith, Jacob Forna, King Castle, Seizure, Jamie Govier, Govier, B yep. Dog, David Williams. What's up, David? Andy the Collector, Rob Zamora. What's up, Rob? What's up, Curtis Ackerman, Ackerman, Steph Ork, Jesse Just Shelvet. Uh, Kirby Smith, Kent Poole Collects, Thomas Belay, Brian Carver Customs, Aristotle, up, David Smith, I am TJ Williams, Jordan yeah, Horson, Wholesome Warlock from the Purple Gang Gang, Mark R, uh, Van Johnson, another mm. member of the Purple Gang Gang, which if you haven't seen that on Saturday night featured. Mm. I feel like I just saw this guy. Rob Zamora, we said that's the uh, Patrick Boyle, Edgardo, uh, da, 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 collectible fun, Patrick Boyle, Cloud, what's going on, Cloud? Hey, Big Greg is here. No chewing. Uh, Collecting brothers, which 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 brother is it? I really want to know when you guys come on. Is it both <laughs> yeah. of you? Or you? I know you're not sitting together because you're usually not together. You were together for your last interview, but um, it's got to be one of you. So which one? Yeah, let it? us know, Collecting <laughs> Brothers. Uh, Mark our uh, da, 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 commander Gree, 
Ish. What's hey, what's up, Herm? Ish. Agent Variant. JMX77. Jacob Forna. Literally. Action Figs. McAnimation. Santos Rivera. Rick Emmert. Hey, what's up, McAnimation? The County. Caleb Brown. And that covers it, but I'm going to back up to Curtis Ackerman and our first Super Chat of the evening. $4.99. Don't normally promote our show on here, but last night's Shooting the Shelf with Mira was a feel-good joyride. That is great if you need a pick-me-up. 100%, Curtis, we were going to bring that up, but mm -hmm. um, I'm glad you beat us to it because we got your $4.99. Yeah. Thank you for that. But, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that was, a, that was a fantastic show. Can't I even mean, wait. Yeah, that Mira was is just a, a, a joy. I mean. Yeah, she's a she's a bundle of positivity and joy. Like, she almost it, made me, like, positive. <laughs> That's a feat, man. She yeah, really she was wonderful. Is. It was a great show. Excellent. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, absolutely go check that out. No, she's and excellent. Next, uh, she's great work. And, and uh, yeah, that was she's a fun super show creative, sure. super inspirational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely pick me up. Yeah. Yep. And Jacob Forna is seconding that motion with another four ninety nine. dollars Awesome. Nice. Right? And I yeah, got I'm looking forward there. to meeting her at uh, Legion's Con. Um, <laughs> yeah. And her dad, man, her dad, um, she said was there last year. I don't believe I got a chance to meet him last year, but uh, I look forward to meeting him this year. Do we know that? I hope Do he we, I mean, adopts me. Uh, well, she mentioned really... him being there a few times. Yeah. So. Okay. Do we know? Yeah. Do we know him? I don't think so, but okay. I feel bad if I do, and and just am blanking out on it, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know everybody's everybody's everything. So right. like, there's a lot of people. I, that I, yeah. I tell this, I say this every year. Like, I, I, you know, I remember faces. If I've seen your face, I remember your name. If I've seen your name on things, but putting them together sometimes is a, is a difficult. Yeah. I'm not exactly challenge. sure how much he participates in like the cabal or if watches shows or if say if mm -hmm. he came up to the table and said hello and I've forgotten, I apologize. But yeah. So anyways, this year we'll make a point of of getting to know both those guys. Or, Absolutely. Make I'm not animation. sure if any more of their families are coming, but anyways. Good to see you back here again. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, all right. He's not in the okay. cabal. Oh, he's in the cabal, but not super active. Um, Curtis is confirming okay. that. So, anyways, it. yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me go back to my notes here. All right, we got some news. We got a lot going on. So tonight we are going to take a look at, as stated on the thumbnail, um, the gas Gaspar Arr. and Gaurich, Gaurich, um <laughs> figures from Legion's Con 2024, the exclusives. I uh, got the okay from Jeremy to show these off a little bit. We're not going to go nuts they want with exclusives. them. Um, they are, uh, what's that? Day one exclusives, yep. Yes, day one exclusives. Yeah, right. We don't know what day two, well, I do, but you don't. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these are prototypes, so I'm not going to go nuts with popping and swapping them, but we'll take some stuff off. We'll put some stuff together and just take a look at them. And, you know, if people got questions about certain things, um, there is a couple of things that I discovered work pretty well with them. Well, at least one thing. Cool. Um, so we'll take a look at it. We'll, we'll take a look at them, um, you know, take a look at all the parts and stuff, and uh, everybody can ask their questions about them and go on. I'm sure that Jeremy and Joe will be doing a pop and swap um with them i don't know if they'll do that immediately but they'll do it at some point i'm sure maybe when uh, the prototypes or when the uh, production stuff comes in or not i don't know we'll see um we got that we've got james from fox fox forge toys and the galactic valor kickstarter to give us an update on the kickstarter and see where that's going those guys are great cool um cool figures i got to play mm -hmm. around with the, again prototypes it's always like you know a challenge, but uh, not not in terms of like photography. Well, yes, that too, but like you know, showing them off in their best light. They're they're going to be really cool figures. They're really really nice looking. Awesome. Um, so and uh, Sir Dork did some work on that as well. Um, no, I, I'm not 71. No, I'm I'm 68. So <laughs> there you go. You're right. Looks That's just good. how many years it's been since the Cowboys won a Super Bowl. So, uh, well, oh, it's been nice ouch. having you, Joe. Um, anyway, um, see ya. For, uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't. I didn't know your last name was Houseel. I thought it was Gonzalez. So uh... I, I'm a 
Niners fan. Uh, my oh, family's Jesus. from the Bay Area, so yeah. yeah all right, all right. Had to take right, the cheap right, shot, right. you know. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I apologize. Okay. I apologize. That's okay. I wore this for the House Seals because of their stupid uh, meme today. Mark House Seals stupid meme. And um, no, I, I was going to say, like, maybe Mark. I, I bet you the Philly fans are clamoring for the moon to be drafted onto the to the Eagles. So okay, so there you go. <laughs> you guys will have the moon at halfback next year. Okay, right on. Maybe you can get a ring at that point. Right? <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> that's that's right that's right thank you van um all right we got some news and then we're gonna get on some and we got to, well, then we got to talk about that mysterious um yeah. color block checkerboard thing going on what i mean i had a theory thing, yeah. but maybe you guys got theories and maybe people in the chat have theories and we can talk about it we'll take a look at some of the stuff that people have put up and see if we can solve that mystery because it's one of the things that i have not asked about uh, when i saw it i was like should i go and figure out what this is because i really want to know and i'm like no you know what i'm not gonna ask i'm not gonna ask i'm just gonna go with it um oh we got a kevin boots 499 bomb here just getting settled down from my my totality trip yeah the, nice kevin yeah i can't wait to see the uh um the dslr shots man yeah like, and he had some um uh, iphone shots and stuff and he was he's right up there um long island here we got about 90 percent um mm. it's pretty cool it, it got a little shady that's basically it <laughs> but mm. it, was, it was interesting yeah um, i, I could have traveled about an hour and a half two hours up north and i could have probably seen the totality but uh yeah it didn't work out here, so uh, uh, it's all right. There's another one in 2079, so that comes across here. So um, I'll just the weirdest, wait for that just one. not to get in on a tangent about that, Probably but 130. The, the thing that tripped me out is we. I don't know what percentage we had here. It looked like it was damn near. I don't know, 98, 99 percent. But anyways, it couldn't it have been still, where you are. It was still pretty bright. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. It was quite a just a little tiny sliver was left. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. A, the fact that there was that little tiny sliver and how much light there still was, you know, yeah. was wild. Yeah. But yeah. all the lights that are in everyone's front yards are all um, uh, going on. Almost, yes, they all went on. Really? You know, like wow. they're, what do you call it? You know, not the solar, solar power. Yeah, yeah, the timers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They all went on. And it was like light out. So it was like, it was bizarre. So, hmm. anyways, that That's aside. Strange. Because yeah. it wasn't even really like dusk; it was just an eerie like shade almost. Right? Like, it was yeah. Like... I mean, inside our house, we when we walked in, it was like whoa. It was kind of almost like when you're, you know, like a bar a big storm's coming or something like that. But when we were outside. Yeah. That's yeah. Really bright. But yeah, that's just what it goes to show like. you how much power and sun the sun provides when there's just that yep. little sliver and it's still that light out. Yeah. Well, I was yeah, I was kind of explaining like to my wife that how it's, I mean. She understands science, but like, like it's like when you're lighting, you know, when you're lighting something behind, that light wraps around, you know, whatever that thing is that you've right. got in front of it. It's not a complete silhouette that blocks out the light. So, I mean, the the moon obviously not nearly as big as the sun. So even when you when you're in totality, I think it's it's very dark and it pretty much yeah. knocks out things except the uh, you know around a, like a corona or whatever around you. But it's supposed to be get pretty shady. You know, not pitch black, but pretty shady. I, I did see a video somebody posted uh, on threads of that um, people were taking plane rides to take a look at it, right? I and wonder, somebody yeah. filmed it. Ooh. Go go see if you can find the video. Just look up like um, you know, uh, solar eclipse totality from a plane and see it. I'm yeah. sure there's other videos. It was pretty damn cool. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, we, yeah, we were seeing jets time, and planes going by while I it was up there. That. And my yeah. son and I were like wondering to ourselves wonder what it's like up there it was wild man i mean it was huh. complete darkness and you're on wow. top of the clouds and it, it's just a weird rolling of how you know it looks up there as opposed to down here it's just it's really really interesting cool uh, well cool. yeah i'm glad kevin got to go and i'm looking forward to his picks yeah for There's sure another super chat from blake five bucks i'm calling it now this year's <laughs> legion's contribute fear <laughs> should be called sir trevor the sly eye <laughs> all right okay i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't hold your breath on that one but uh, right. <laughs> that's fine we'll put it down uh, april 8th we'll put it, it there you go 
Um, all right, we got a couple pieces of news here. Intern for a day is still open, uh, or uh, Amber for a day, if you're uh, if you're <laughs> looking at it that way. <laughs> you can be Amber Gonzalez for a day, because Amber Gonzalez will definitely be there, because she's there every I year. I want her luck. I know, right? Uh, let me bring this up. I think, can I share this and do that? I believe I can, yeah. Okay, so uh tickets have gone on sale for 2024 legions con and they're 25 percent as of the first of april so i'm guessing maybe we're up to maybe 30 percent off or 30 percent sold yeah 30 um, 35 so far the hotel is sold out um i've had a couple of people contacting me about uh going uh, my friend alberto is coming Oh, um, sweet. Noir Kaiser effects. And uh, awesome. but he's he's looking for a place. It is not like if you haven't been there before, the, where it is now is a fantastic location, but it's not walking distance from anything. It's not a walking situation. So you've either got mm -hmm. to rent a car if you're going to stay at another hotel or you're going to have to Uber it back and forth. Or, you know, I mean, if you've got friends that are willing to pick you up or drop you off at the end of the night. Um, yeah, they opened up, didn't, yeah, they're not opened up, but Jeremy said he's added to the list or whatever, a couple that are a mile or two away, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and plenty of people stayed there last year and thought it was, yeah, it worked out great. So it's not like it's far, but yeah, you can't walk. Uh, you, I, I mean, a mile you could walk, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's like, depending on what side of the road it's on, you've got to go like yeah. two miles up the road just to cross the, the highway that it's on, um, to get, come back down. So yeah. I don't know where those are located, but it's, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy walk for sure. That's right. for sure. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're, uh, if you're looking to get a hotel room at this point. Um, but you know, yeah, a bunch of people will probably... Cheap. Cardboard boxes are cheap. Actually, they're free yeah. if you if you know you wait till day two when you pick them up at the. There you go. Sleep in them and then fill your um, your yeah. hall yeah. with them. The four horsemen. Yep. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just ask for an extra box when you when you yeah. get your stuff. Modern problems Tell require them. modern solutions. There you yeah. go. <laughs> and they're accommodating. They'll help you out. That's for, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And you can maybe even get them to sign it, and you know. Right. <laughs> Go in style. Yeah, if, the, um, if the cops come by, you'll be like, oh, right. no, see, they signed no. off on it. Yeah. yeah. Don't this you know who the Four Horsemen This are? is the Four Horsemen. Have told, have, yeah, completely. Yeah. <laughs> um, Legion Shop has got a spring cleaning sale, 20% off all items in stock, which is pretty good. There's some good stuff on here. There's figures. There's older figures. Um, you know, some pricey stuff. Even some just not so. I mean, ninety two bucks for the moose right now is 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 a pretty good price. That's good you deal know, for some yeah. of these things. You know, um, forty eight bucks for the Sphex. Uh yeah. yeah, I mean, good. I've got a lot of deals. stuff on there. They got Max Bird yeah. stuff on there, <clears throat> which is always yeah, a good thing. Is... To grab when you can. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I was almost. I think I might mm -hmm. pick up some of the Max Bird. So don't anybody do that. Um... <laughs> If you miss uh, out well, on the bird, I would highly recommend Darla Ackerman. Dar well, it's a, it's almost like a different animal. Like they're those it are is different, different stuff. and yeah. good in their own way. Like uh, I I like the design of Darla's capes. I really like the uh, yeah, versatility of the use. Real good wires in there too. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, there's some Max Bird stuff up here. There's some custom figures by Jeremy. I think most of those are Jeremy's. I think those are all Jeremy's. Um, some unpainted sculpts, some painted sculpts. So go check that out. And yeah, twenty percent off is a pretty good deal, man. So mm -hmm. good Heck stuff. Yeah. Did you pick up Spring anything? Clean out your wallet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Between that and our other friends at Wolf King Customs, um, who are doing, they got some new new parts available. I know that. Um, yeah. And there is a discount uh, if you watched uh, closer than I did the purple gang gang show that i was actually on um <laughs> on saturday i apparently missed the code um it's not hard to discern i think it's in the first five minutes of the show so you don't have to watch me uh, rhymes with purple yeah um so there is a code that if you watch the show you will be able to get a little bit of a discount on some stuff but all all, all new stuff yeah, new stuff, uh, and they restocked some old stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Len also said that I think for <clears throat> some of the bigger, like, orc uh, heads, cool. orc size, or not orc, um, uh, troll, troll size heads, that they're going to start 
um, almost like a print on demand thing. So those won't be in stock. Mm. If you order those, you might have to wait a little bit, but oh. just because of the size of them, that was a little yeah. new piece of information too. Um, I like that yeah, idea. I think that's one. a good idea for customizers too. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you can wait a few, you can wait, you know, a week or so for things to get printed out, Yeah, and, you know, uh, for sure. Yeah. These for that scale. Sick. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah that exactly. New, yeah. Um, Wolfie. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, the Wolf King. I mean, come on. Yeah, those are great. I think they're. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's for one point Okay. Yeah. Yep. The other one's for, a, I think a two. But yeah, really cool. But yeah, I think he's got a two point oh and a one. That one's two point oh. I believe. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I love this guy, the uh, Loyal Order of Water Buffalo. That's wild. Skull no. dwarf, I guess. I don't even know. I don't know where that begins and begins. Like, is that a dwarf underneath a skull yeah. mask, or is that a skull underneath a metal? That's helmet? awesome. It's, it's whatever you want it to be, right? That's true. That's I could. True. That looks like something uh, Indy uh, would come up against at some point. Indiana yes. Jones. Yeah, for sure. Probably <laughs> more. That new uh, rhino head. Probably cool. small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what were you calling out, Nate? The rhino, yeah pretty wild oh yeah the rhino yeah 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 with the place for the hose in the side there so you can do the uh, cosmic thing on it awesome look at that how cool is that looks great on that body too yeah it does very cool all right so that's wolf king customs um what else we got we got the cabal uh if we go back to the cabal let me get back here to the cabal just hit six thousand uh, subscribers, six thousand followers. So, a lot of tackles, to... Walter. Hell yeah, um, that's awesome, man. weren't were we just? It, it felt. It feels like we were just at like three thousand yeah, or something like it. that. What, didn't it. when they announced yeah. his figure for last year's Legion's Con, which is like last May, hadn't it just hit like three or three? Was it three or four? I had to be honest. I cannot remember. Maybe it was but, four. Maybe it was. But four. it does seem know. like it's done a massive jump lately. Yeah, that's you a know, big jump I, in one year. Yeah, and, and if you look, it, it kind of correlates with the amount of uh, media coverage yeah. for, for legions, you know? For sure. If you look yeah. at the, the podcasts and the YouTube shows, like do a search for Mythic Legions on YouTube nowadays. I remember when I first got into the line, I would do a search for Mythic Legions on, on YouTube, and it was like, is. is there <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, or, that's and that it. Was yeah, it. That's, yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, and, couple... and now like it just explodes like oh, the yeah. more media content that gets out that shows people about it i mean you can't yeah, it's just exponential up, right and, yeah so i think that definitely correlates with the mm -hmm. good point absolutely you know. yeah i feel personally responsible for enabling a bunch of those youtube guys to get to getting into mythic legions <laughs> but it, it's i mean it's not it's the product itself obviously that that draws people in and i think that figure obscura was a big draw to a lot of those guys as oh, well for sure mm -hmm. um just for value you know and and the, st the amount of stuff you can show during a review is 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 pretty cool uh speaking yeah. of, of enabling uh <laughs> I was just gonna, enablers i was just gonna make that same segue <laughs> myself <laughs> uh new episode uh episode four Four? Or yep. is this five? It's episode four. four. Um, uh, just came out today. Uh, good episode. Listen to it already. Uh, I love I love listening to mythic stuff, especially like the Euro Legions and these guys and it's speculating. Um, you know, Legions chat and and uh, anything while while I'm doing some work on the stuff. You know what I mean? It just makes it. It's it feels like you're kind of in a like a group and you know you're at the show or whatever. So. Um, yeah, it was good, man. It was, it was a really good episode. I really like the format those guys got. Um, sounds great. They're all very good. The editing um, that they're doing is is fantastic. So definitely go check that out and subscribe yeah, if you have not that. on your favorite podcast uh, platform. <clears throat> and along with that, Euro Legions has a new episode out, uh, and and the show that Nate and I were on that there's a new show, but the, the last show that was out was uh, Nate and I talking about um, <laughs> a ski con that uh, Mal came out to uh, my house. And then we went out to Nate's house and we went out to the ski con. Uh, <laughs> that was a fun episode. That was fun. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on? We've have a new uh, Legion's cast this Thursday. And I believe 
they'll be talking about my favorite faction, uh, Leodysius, this week. Uh, I didn't get an invite, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll just enjoy it as a viewer. It's fine. No, you got to um, campaign yeah. for it, like Curtis. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, yeah, I try not to. I, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to be Curtis, so like, <laughs> I'm, I'm on enough shows as it is. Uh, this is my, well, like nobody my... can be Curtis, so right. mm, true. This true. is true. Nor would never mind. No, uh, uh, I love Curtis. Legion's ladies, uh, toy owner Sherry McDonald's is on. McDonald is on this Thursday. That's good. That could be interesting. Uh, don't know anything about Sherry, but uh, could be an interesting. I assume they're uh, Mythic Legions resellers, so we'll find out what that's all about. Um, okay, what else we got? Uh, I got to bring James on in a minute here, but uh, real well, you know what? We're going to talk about Pop and Swap. That's the other thing I didn't bring up. Pop and Swap is live now, so Pop and Swap Stars 2024 is on the Cabal. It's a pin post. There's an event. It's got all the rules in it. Um, changes from last year is we're doing away with the legion builder um requirement uh, it just got too complex nobody knows what a legion builder is anymore it's like the legion <laughs> builders are our deluxe legion builders and and it just it got to the point where like now we got cosmic let's let's just open it up to any three figures up to three figures i mean i'm, I'm assuming you're going to do more than one but if you want to pop and swap one I don't... okay I've had um it. yeah i've had it um, but up to three figures that you can use from Cosmic, Figura Obscura, or Mythic. So it's a lot of parts to choose from in those things. Um, we've got yeah. new a new category. We've still got the tribute category. We've got the black and red category that we held over from last year because that was very popular. And this year, uh, as sponsored by the pur aforementioned Purple Gang Gang, we've got the purple prize. Um, so the purple pop and swap for the best purple uh, majority purple uh, pop and swap. Somebody asked me today on the on the on the comments, uh, are there any more than like purplor and uh, well, a Balam um, that have purple parts? And I'm like, yeah, all the vampires have purple parts and purple, you know. And this is a little looser. I mean, like a kind of purplish blue could go along with that, as long as the majority of it or a good portion of it is purple. It's cool. You know what I mean? It's it's going to totally be up to those guys. So, you know, ask Van and, and Jordan what they consider purple, I guess. <laughs> um, but that's going to be fun. And we got some yeah. great people lined up uh, for sponsors. We got the Four Horsemen. We got the, again, aforementioned Purple Gang Gang and Wolf King Customs. Uh, so we're lining up the prizes now. We're probably going to have some other people. Uh, and, and I'll be putting some, throwing some stuff in there as well. So... Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It runs from today through the 26th, which is a Friday, I believe, um, of April at midnight. And then, you know, give us a week or so for us to take a look at everything. The judges got some great judges this year. I'll, I'll talk about them later. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be a good time. TK Blau has a question. Any limits on accessory packs? Uh, you can use... You know, I didn't put like how many accessory packs. I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to I'm going to leave it a little loose this year and see what happens. So, in addition to the three figures, so you can use three figures. You can use any accessories that come with those. Any soft goods. Somebody asked me about, you know, ungluing a head. For, don't no ungluing. We're not like cutting no. parts up and stuff. It's it's literally pop, pop and, and swap, swap the and way swap. pop and swap was meant to be parts that pop off you can pop on etc etc um you can use wings you can use a weapons pack you can use accessory packs head packs hand packs uh spell packs uh whatever packs you got ice packs whatever um <laughs> you can use whatever you want six in addition pack. to those three figures six pack that'll work that may influence the judges um yeah, so you can use all those, any of those in relationship. I don't think there's going to be anything there that's really going to give anybody an advantage, um, even if you use a head pack and a hand pack and a spell pack. I mean, like, they're just accessories. So um, open to using all the accessories that are with those packs. Uh, but again, remember to put your recipe in there. Put all the parts that you used on the post. Um, it mm -hmm. makes it easier for us. We're pretty good at discerning what's what, but we like to know, um, you know, what goes into it, so. Yeah, and look for the hashtags that you uh, you included in the rules. Say if, if you're doing the red and black, or if you're doing the purple, or if you're doing yeah. the tribute. Beyond just the pop and swap hashtag, add those yep. as well. 
Yeah, you're going to want to do pop and, uh, pop and swap stars, hashtag pop and swap stars to enter uh, just a general contest. And then if you want to, in addition, uh, which you'll be judged for the overall as well, like you could win for a second or third prize. But if you want to be judged for the red and black, for the purple or for the tribute, then also add those hashtags, which are in the rules there for those as well, alongside pop and swap stars hashtag. Um, and but we'll find add it. 24 to that, correct, though? No, no, no. There's no 24 because oh. we can we can uh, we can search. We did this last year because we can search by year. Oh, so okay. just pop and hashtag pop and swap stars is all you need to put on there. Um, and we'll find it from anything from 2024. 2024 gotcha. will pop up. And right on. and in that in that uh, vein, don't 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 you just use last year's. You know what I mean? Like try something right. new. You yeah. know what I mean? We're. Nobody's going to disqualify you if you just, you know, repost last year's pop and spot, but it's not a lot of fun. And we've seen it. So, it, it you know, if, if it won last year, you're not going to win again for it. And if it didn't win, maybe, you know, you need to up your game a little try bit. Try something new. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Try something new and have some fun. What it's all about, Because now we've have, got have Cosmic. Fun. We've got Cosmic. We did not have Cosmic last year. We had no oh, Cosmic there's a figures. Freaking loads more parts and pieces. It's going to be. I'll just think I can't I'll figure out Obscura that. stuff. I can't even imagine the stuff we're going to see um, for all these, uh, but especially like tributes and stuff. I think it's going to be nuts, man. It's going to yeah. be really, really cool. I didn't. I didn't all have right. a chance. I know last year, like the day it it opened, people had stuff up there. I haven't even hardly been in the cabal today. Um, mm -hmm. Did you see any by chance or no? Somebody posted one up yesterday, and they're like, "Oh, I'm early. Is that okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's fine." Oh, um, okay. It looked pretty good. It was. It looked like it was a purple entry, so we're already well, starting fun. with purple, which is cool. All right. um, um, Game but on. I, I did not look deeply today. There was a lot of things going on with the sun that I was staring into. So, um, <laughs> but I'm sure there's some stuff up there already. People are ready with this stuff, man. And yeah, and Love um, it. the people who are good at it are fast at it. Um, and again, you can only enter once, so make it your best. And if you change your mind and come up with something at the last minute, just you know, untag your first one or delete the post or something. Oh, the other thing we're doing this year is a fan favorite. So, um, you know, these are all up in the cabal. You can go and search them. You can go and search them by putting in hashtag pop and swap stars and and you know, selecting the twenty anything from twenty twenty four, and then you can vote on them by liking them. Um, and the top five most liked posts uh, are going to be uh, put into a, a, a poll uh, for everybody to vote on, and the, that uh, the winner of that will win the prize there. So that's cool. That'll be fun. Um, right on. Hell yeah. yeah. Curtis, um, only if the stove is on, Curtis. Um, I was say a night like nice medium heat with some maybe yeah. Chianti poured in there. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, some fava beans. Because you want to make sure they're heated up, right? I mean, <laughs> right. before you do anything, you want to make sure. Yeah, just put a, lo a nice low simmer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this. I'm not really a pop a and swap oil. guy myself, so it. I love seeing what people come up with. Some of it. Yeah, me too. I love so it. creative. I it end is, up stealing it is, a few recipes myself. <laughs> hell yeah, it is fun. Like it is amazing what people have been doing. Um, and with with even less than just two figures, you know what I mean yeah so i'm i'm i can't wait to see the cosmic stuff i really had hoped last year we would have had the cosmic one wave out uh in just time and it, it just yeah. just yeah. missed it by like a month so um this is going to be wild this year we've got so much to choose from uh and next year we'll have all those bones it's going to be nuts um oh, and yeah. uh and speaking of heating up if you don't this this is a great thing little uh portable uh uh heater like a hot uh what do you, what do you call this a uh, heat tool whatever heat gun uh, just gun. heat gun yeah heat gun. it's not really much of a gun but it's a gun um yeah it's it's great man it's just a low power thing it, it heats them up really well and it's not like you know one of those high powered paint peeling heat guns and right even maybe even your your own or your wife's hair dryer which could also be <laughs> deadly i've learned yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know i have a funny hair dryer story from today though this was oh. i actually missed the eclipse because no. Uh, I had a power outage. Yeah. Oh, well, I got shit. distracted. I get distracted early, easily. But I was I was charging a battery for my car outside and running the dryer 
and I was actually had gotten out of the shower and was blow drying my beard and I had half of it done and all the lights went out. Oh shit. Except for like the stove in the kitchen and one other room. And I went and checked my breakers and none of the breakers were tripped. And hmm. it turned out it took me a while to figure it out, but I'd actually blown a main on the pole. Oh wow. to go reset the main breaker. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Wow. And then that, that is some powerful blow dryer. Yeah, it, it was well, just that's, enough. That's a powerful beard. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> but, but it was just enough to, to like tip the scale and and blow Bang. The it was I weird that been... it didn't. Yeah, didn't like blow, trip a, a a breaker in the home though. You know, right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And, First, and of yeah, course, I'm going around thing. and like half of my beard is like still you know because I only blew blow dried half of it, so the other half was still fluffy, and I was like. <laughs> If I can't get the oh, is, power back on. This is—is is that what happens? It just puffs out. Like if you don't so uh, blow dry, it, yeah, it, it puffs out. I I blow dry it to keep it more streamlined. So oh, wow. I had <laughs> no idea. I, I have, yeah, funny. I had my I have my own. So oh, yeah, it's a little it's a little curly, but like it doesn't like I got the white streaks and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, it just looked better straight. So <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I can and, see that. And I'm bald, so that's the only real hair care like I have to do. I hear you. So. How about the mustache? You have to blow dry the mustache, or is that just I don't uh, drip dry? I don't. Just it drip just, dry? Yeah, it just oh, takes shape like like it's it belongs in a museum. Let's be honest. It does. It's, it does. It, it is, is a magical. It is stash. the perfect. It is the perfect stash. <laughs> Look at the. We have the Lord Himself said he he may actually join the pop and swap. Oh, okay, right. Oh, Grace with the presence. Could we'd be so honored. Wow. Can't wait to see that. Stay in your lane, though, Steve. Don't, don't too far. <laughs> All right, let's bring this man out who's been sitting backstage. We got a lot to get to, so I want to get James on here. Um, we want to talk quickly. I've been working on uh, some photos for these guys. Sir Dork did some photos for these guys, and um, it's a really cool Kickstarter. Let me let me pop this up here now that we're uh, back on here. Bang! Nope, that's not. That's just me. There we go, and there we go. Uh, welcome to the show, James, Fox Forge Toys, maker of Galactic Valor action figures and the Kickstarter. What's up, James? Hello, how you doing? Hey, What's James. What's going on, man? Hello. Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> um, you hit a milestone today, man. Yeah. I, like I was, just saw that. Yeah, I mean, you know, super happy with where we are with you know all, the amount of time left that's on the on the campaign so oh yeah when Plenty we hit that we we're like oh wow so um that's awesome congrats thank you yeah for sure um yeah so tell us about this. so the these i mean these look great man i mean i i got them in hand again they're prototypes um but just looking at them and knowing what you had on the table last year at legions con they're going to be great figures man they're really cool i love the articulation Great Double designs. jointed elbows and stuff, right? Uh, yeah. And and knees, so you got that kind of range going on. Um, I like the, I actually like the slimness of the bodies. Um, it's it's different. You know what I mean? It's yeah. It's a cool look for aliens, right? Yeah. Yeah. It matches the aesthetic of the, yeah, sort of the genre. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So Can what's the work? story behind these? You guys had been doing um, the star. Um, Stardusk, yep. uh, for a long time, which was more kind of a retro, simple articulation, more of a, a fun kind of like almost throwback, you know, to something that you didn't have nostalgia for, but like it felt like that, uh, which they were cool. Um, so what made you jump to this? Like what, what from, from that to this? Just, yeah. 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 What was the so thought? like. With, with Stardust, it was basically a more retro theme, less articulation. We had like a right. we had a pretty good entry price point as well for twenty five dollars a figure. Um, like the overall figures were super solid; they worked really well, and all of our customers that bought them were super happy with them. But as we were attending, yes. as we were attending conventions, um, I started like you know picking people's brains, and I was like, "Hey, what do you like in an action figure?" And there was a lot of like. I like um, super articulated, highly detailed sculpt figures. You see that with like 
obviously with what the four horsemen are doing with the mythic legions line like they're mm -hmm. absolutely amazing with like the soft goods and stuff like that and then they've jumped into into cosmic legions um but the, uh, the reason why i wanted to do galactic valor was because i've always been like a sci-fi nerd like mm -hmm. you know warhammer 40k halo star wars star trek so it was just like i was just like i need to do something sci-fi so being able to you know work with yourself uh trevor to help get these photographed then working with nikki nicole customs to get them painted and yeah nikki nicole there you go awesome. yep and then Royalty. working with cj who's done the soft goods for yeah. um mythic wow. legions so we have the cape this that's all beautiful. wired so this basically it was cape. just yeah it was just working with a lot of you know talented individuals in the you got the dream team and, man yeah thanks <laughs> Um, but yeah, just tr trying to, you know, work with as many talented people as possible to bring this line to life. And it's been a lot of fun and it's been a pleasure, been a pleasure working with all these people. Yeah. They, they look great, man. They, they really, really look good. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm digging them. Uh, and there's a variety here and they're going to like fit in like totally with, uh, well, I mean, you've got, here's your comparison, right? I mean, they're going to, well, no, where's the compare? There we go. Uh, they're going to fit in with your cosmic legions. They're going to fit in with star Wars for sure. They could definitely be some, uh, you know, I mean, I look at all these lines, like I like to get them and like put them, they're on their own shelf. They are their own thing. You know what I mean? If I'm doing photography, I might mix it in or something like that, but I like to have, you know, I like the stories behind them. I like to, um, I don't know. I just love these. I love a third party figure with something new, like an IP that I just don't have any, you know, um, predetermined attachment or... to, you know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I like the creativity. I like unique looking things. It's nice to get like something that, you know, I guess, but I'd rather be surprised and kind of get something new in hand. It's like, wow, this is cool. Um, I could do a Thank lot you. with this guy. Yeah. So, and the, and, Beautiful designs, um, great sculpting. Um, who did you, did you work with somebody on the sculpting or is this? Yeah, uh, so okay. it was basically like getting all of my ideas onto paper. So I did some sketches, I got some like reference images and then I worked with um, a, a fella named uh, uh, Rafael Fernandez. He worked for McFarland Toys and he's now like oh, a nice. freelancer. Hmm. Um, and he was able to just, you know, bring these characters to life we're using you know transparent uh plastics to help bring like a new depth to the figures so like with that yeah. shadow stalker there his the alien head will be seen through the yeah. translucent plastic cool. it's cool it's definitely cool yeah the, right. the translucent plastic is a great touch really really nice james how did you connect with uh your sculptor um, I, I had it to where, uh, I worked on a prior project, uh, with him, but it was through, um, like art station is a really good place to where you can find sculptors, but mm -hmm. we worked on a prior project together for a client. And then, uh, I then approached him about this project and then we kind of hit the ground running. Cool. Yes. You got DB Blake's in the mix too. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. He, we, we saw him at uh toy con, New Jersey and we were just chatting or whatever. Like he's, Oh, I'd love to, you know, do like a galactic value song together. Like, yeah, sure. By all means. And then we, you know, I just said, you can be a part of the Kickstarter and all that stuff. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. It's nice to start out your collection with the, uh, uh, you know, D Blake makes a uh, sign yep. uh, for your thing and 20 bucks good price for a d blake mix sign honestly no, that's i mean not price, that they're expensive yeah. but they're that, that's that's a good price yeah um so you got a couple of stretch goals but i what i like about the stretch goals is it's you know they're artist proof which are cool um but it's nothing that you necessarily well you got the nexus enforcer for 140 okay this guy is pretty damn cool nah, yeah, yeah that's that's that is pretty that damn guy. cool <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, um, yeah, both yeah, of like the next heads, one too is really man. cool. Jeez, Holy we, yeah, we basically with the stretch yeah. goals because we're kind of using the the same molds across the initial characters. We basically wanted to expand the portfolio at this point of like a hundred percent new molds across the board for new characters. So okay. Nexus plays a pretty big role in the in the in the story. So that'll be shared yeah. in like the comic books and stuff. Yeah, um, and then like the. The last stretch this is goal. Insane. Like, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, like the, this has been a lot of fun to, to work on. And uh, if this, if we hit the last stretch goal, we'll achieve the, the war mock, which will stand at roughly like nine inches tall, 
the, the, the gun will be removable. We'll make sure that the, the figures can ride on the back of the gun to shoot uh, it. And, I was just going to ask about that. Yep. And then they'll have it to be where there's like a, a mount on the back of it so they can ride it as well. Articulated or partially? It will, it will be articulated. Yeah. yeah there's a, nice. there's a, um, one figure. It's like a mix it, um, that we're kind of following in terms of the articulation. It's like, um, okay. I think it's like, uh, it's like a, it's like a gorilla type um, action figure, like kind of like King okay. Kong that would have okay. follow kind of similar articulation to that. Oh, beautiful. All right. Great. Very cool. Awesome. I mean, that's incentive right there, man. I mean, we can get this. We can definitely do <laughs> really this in cool. 15 days because that is cool as hell, man. I would love that. Oh, my God. We will see. Yep. Yeah. Um, pl- listen, if you're if you're interested in these things, jump in on it now. I jumped in on it. I've got I'm I'm think I'm going to up my pledge, though, because I really want that thing. That's <laughs> These guys are great, too. I like these guys, uh, but that would be insane. Uh, really insane um and you're doing good i think uh i think you're on a good str- i mean 80 80 000 is a reasonable very reasonable mm-hmm. amount to hit uh you're already at 51 you got two weeks over two weeks um i think you're in a good spot and um yeah i mean i'm gonna be we've been we've been sharing things but i've been meaning to like do like a whole post i just had to check with you to see if i could like post everything all yeah. at once because i don't know okay um but yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pump these things because uh i think these are gonna be really cool and i really want to see these done um what else anything else you want to tell people about the the kickstarter or how to um you know how to get in what what's the best deal what's uh what, what, yeah. what do you want to so like with the take with, a look at the rewards the, with the with the kick with the rewards it's you won't see like a like a savings in price because we've already built it into the, into the rewards. So basically okay. that it's yeah. the Kickstarter is the best place to get the, the figures for the cheapest price. So mm-hmm. each character on the Kickstarter will be $30, regardless of if they're standard or deluxe That's a Great so price outside of the Kickstarter, they'll be for the standard figures. They'll be 32 99. And then the mm-hmm. deluxe figures. So like Tigron with his wired Cape will be 37 99. So if you were to so buy, nice. You know, five figures, and you wanted them to all be Tigron. You're making massive savings right there. there. Um, and then, you know, it's just like we wanted to make these figures way more interactive and fun. So, like, making sure like there's like a good. You guys were talking about more like pop and swaps. So we want it to be where the the heads all have the same pegs, so you can change the heads off and make more customizable aliens. There'll Perfect. be different. Um, Hand, alien hands so you can pop and swap different alien hands out uh there'll be different be different feet as well so you can pop out different types of boots awesome um so especially like if you get if we get nexus unlocked there's aliens eventually come into the nexus fold so we want it to be where there's uh nexus alien figures as well um right. so we're trying to make it as you know um like customizable as possible we're working with like pinless joints all the armor will be removable um oh nice yeah yeah so I know this was removable all the arm joint or arm the gauntlets and stuff will come off. yeah all that will be removable nice. and These stuff like that guards. Nice. very cool yep. be and great. then we're gonna include yeah. like some armor packs as well down the lines where you can like yeah change out the boots and stuff like that excellent excellent so James, if this um, wraps up in uh, in a couple weeks, so say around the beginning of May, what what's your uh, hope to have these in people's hands, time time wise? Yeah, so I I've I've worked the schedule out with the factory. Um, the factory we're working with is great. Um, they they pro- they did start us prior, so there's a really good relationship there. Um, but we're looking for like molds. Typically take like 90 days. Productions like 60 days um shipping is like a month and a half but like with like delays potentially in there and then like holidays overseas got to account looking at like march of 25 but no that's that's me being like adding like buffer yeah no good good idea so just because nothing ever goes smoothly a little under a year that's pretty good though yeah. yeah, absolutely. Under that's really, really good. Yeah. Now, will you be? I'm assuming you're going to be a Legion's Con this year. Will you be a Legion's Con? Yes. So, like, okay. re- regardless of what happens with the Kickstarter, if it if it funds, if it doesn't, these will it's be getting fund. it. It will. Fund. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like 
we went to Legion's Con last year, which was like amazing. We we debuted the line there. We weren't really expecting the um like the response that it got. We were like, oh, yeah. we're gonna show it, we'll see what happens. But it was like tons of people just coming to the uh awesome. to the table. So yeah. we def we're definitely going again in November. As soon as um Jeremy emailed, I was like, Yes, I'm in. So um <laughs> All right, cool. got the table. Awesome. You think at that point you'll have some uh some uh you know like test shot things or cool. for sure yeah, yeah. like it, there'll be like the, um yeah like the the current prototypes are a bit more static right now but yeah I, once yeah. we get there'll be like the movable prototypes there for sure yeah. there'll be new characters that will be for future waves there nice um i'd like to get that warmock sculpted so i can show that off and it's you know like oh, that'd be amazing that cool. would be cool yeah i mean it's it's the Kickstarter is so tough because you want to be able to show this off as much as you can, but you can't possibly tool that or any or anything like that. Even really sculpting it costs a fortune. So yeah, uh, it was basically like that, if we got to be ready to go. Yeah, if we basically started getting close to it, I have um, Raphael on standby to start working on it, and then okay. we already have um, quotes for like a figure that's similar in size and dimensions. Um, okay. with the, with the factory and stuff. So that's how we ended up with that, that, um, nice. stretch goal price. Yeah. This is such a unique looking thing, man. I really hope it gets there. Cause this yeah. Yeah. again, uh, you know, I mean, again, these scale well with cosmic, you could use this for anything. You could use this for, you know, Joe's or something too. Like, yeah. I was just going to say, this is almost sure, like a you know I mean? figure obscure piece in a way that it, no. Yep. It'll bring people in from all kinds of sci-fi love, yep. you know. And any of these guys. Anywhere, yeah. Same, yeah, with those. Yeah. I really like this color scheme on this guy, though. Yeah, me too. It's really cool. cool. Speaking of color uh, scheme, we have a uh, <laughs> Curtis Ackerman. Just a comment for James. We like purple. I'll go. be sure oh. to make a purple alien. <laughs> And uh, so you've got the comic book, and this is issue two. That's the stretch goal. So you're going to have issue one that is available for five bucks with, uh, so you can kind of get a background on this. Yep. Um, and I know that the video you have up has some background on, on it too. So go watch this if you're interested in this. Uh, and you should be. Go check this out. Some good stuff from um, from our friend Sir Dork as well. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he, he was great to work with, with for the video. Um, yeah, it's looking good, um, but don't wait. Don't hesitate uh, because the, the best thing that can happen to these things is they just keep going up while it's going on, and you don't wait till the last minute to jump in. If you have to, you have to, but uh, put it in because it doesn't charge until the end. You know what I mean? Yep. So if you change your mind, uh, mark your calendar and say, okay, I got to go in there in the last day and just readjust and see if I can, you know – swing everything at that point in time but at least you're getting behind it and you're getting these stretch goals and you're getting them over the hump which is what we want to do so um you know go in there if you if you have interest in this it all backs something you know a few figures you know three four figures um or go for a little bit more and then back it up if you have to but uh get in there and, and put something in um because these are going to be really cool uh and the price you can't beat i mean this is like mythic legions prices you know what i mean like this is yeah great price pre-order myth yeah exactly pre-order mythic legions prices which you're not going to get are these going to be up on big bad toy store as well uh yeah they'll be up on uh big bad um and then a couple other places yeah a couple other places local mm -hmm. to where where we're we're based out of um okay. but that, those conversations will all happen uh with the with the with what happens with the kickstarter mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha cool uh so that's those aren't added in to they're not up on big bad now or anything like they're, that for so they're up on they're up on big bad now um okay. and then um and then the other one other wholesalers outside of that will be um we'll work with them after the kickstarter okay okay does that work into the kickstarter at all or that doesn't help you at all i mean um, I know the, the or does it eventually yeah so like the so the great thing about big bad is is like obviously like they you don't get charged until they ship um so right. like they they basically put in a pledge to the kickstarter based upon how many units they've sold okay um, so okay it, so they're pre-selling as well and then they'll put that into the kickstarter but that's not until the end kind yeah of, 
towards the end at least so you don't really you can't really count on that necessarily but it is there but again you're gonna i mean do what you, you have to do if you want to pile a loot it fine but you got a year you know what i mean it's yeah. it is what it is i mean you're still gonna you're still gonna be paying for them um you can't wait you can't sit on your pile of loot for a year so you know, yeah. just just <laughs> go through the kickstarter and get it from cheaper yeah and, and, and get you what get, you can an get for that price yeah and you get yeah. an exclusive figure as well which is only oh right the kickstarter right. And we'll, if we have any leftovers, it would be at like conventions and stuff like that, that we would sell. No one else would have it. Yeah. This is a cool ass head sculpt too, man. This is yeah, really cool. And the cool. white uh, was a really cool color scheme too. I really like the white elements. Yeah. This, so. we, when making this figure, we worked a lot with the community. We did like some voting polls of like, which alien head would you like on the body? And then we then been like, all right, this one won. And then we then put this figure in a gray scale and then we showed a bunch of different colorways on this figure and then everyone voted on that yeah awesome. so it was like yeah it was fun with that that was really fun great way to include yeah, people on. yep yeah i could see a lot of people doing some custom pieces and parts for this too the heads and and accessories absolutely and like that you can that's prop the on. part that i'm most excited about because <laughs> yeah, like, yeah it's gonna be fun there's so many yeah, crazy talented people out there there it's like oh yeah even, even with the stardust climb where it was like turning legionnaires into like buzz light years and stuff like that it was yeah, really yeah. awesome to see that's great yeah yeah i i have the uh the boba fett sort of boba fett yeah quote unquote, tribute that you guys did <laughs> that was cool yeah uh it's a lot of fun and like you know these are hops keep it a jump for 3d parts makers you can take something that you've already created for uh you know cosmic legions at this point or a year ago or whatever and and shrink it down a little bit change the ball joint and uh there you go pop it on yeah yeah that'd be awesome for sure Cool, man. All right. Well, good luck with this. Um, again, mm -hmm. everybody get in on this as soon as you possibly can, because that's the way Kickstarter works and it helps out uh, to get things going and yep. don't wait till last minute. Uh, you won't get these prices again. Um, so get it while you can, man. These are great prices for these things. 30 bucks. I mean, that's a steal for a, a good, uh, well-articulated, nicely accessorized action figure at this point. And, um, you know, just compare it comparatively to, to to other things that are out there, especially domestically. Like, there's nothing to compare it to. So uh, yeah, we we basically wanted to reward the Kickstarter backer for coming here and you know show and helping us out get to that funding goal. So that's why we're providing the best possible price for you guys. Cool, man. Gotcha. Yeah, let's get those other things unlocked. So sure. James, I take it um, you guys are on social, right? You've got an Insta page and you got a Facebook page, or where? What's the best place to follow you guys yes. so we can uh, keep track Fox of the progress? Yeah, Who's so like, bring it up? Um, yeah, there's um, our Instagram and Fox Forge, uh, and Facebook, which is uh, Fox Forge Toys. Um, so yeah, we're we're always you know posting there and stuff like that. And then another thing is is like we like being as transparent as possible. We like, you know, providing updates for everybody. So if the Kickstarter, you know, funds and all that stuff, we'll be providing consistent updates to make sure that you guys are well informed of the process. Um, that's something that we did with this, with the, um, the Stardust Kickstarter. We were consistently updating people and telling you where we were in the process. Um, and we plan on doing that with uh, Galactic Valor as well. Awesome. That's key. Communication is key. So for sure. That's, that's awesome. For sure. James, oh, cool. thanks, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming on. Um, good luck with this. It's not the last you'll see or hear of it on this show. Uh, well, we got two more weeks, so we got one more show. I think before you're uh, before you're you're going to be you're you're going to be closing it up and hopefully with a bang and hopefully that uh, giant this this dude right here because I, I want yeah right here. <laughs> <That's what we laughs> All right, cool. Uh, thanks, James. I appreciate you coming on, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And uh, best of luck. Yeah. With the see case ya. Today. Cool. All right, see, see you, buddy. James. Take care, man. Cool. That's awesome. It's good, love, man. Love uh, seeing they're this really good-looking figures. Um, I like the scale of them. They again, they scale well with uh, Cosmic Legions, but they're just like it's a slighter body. It's more mm -hmm. like a like kind of an uh, not I said like a Mayfex type of thing. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like to me. It's just a little yeah. more you know lithe and and uh, so limber. You'd say and they're stuff. Cosmic adjacent, would you? 
I might, Perhaps. I might say that. Perhaps. Yeah, I, okay. I might say that. Yeah, sure. That's the okay. thing about sci-fi, particularly. You can just mix and match real easy in that genre, I think, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, fantasy, this, too. You know, like, I see a lot of people mixing in, like, the War Duke, you know, um, um, D&D characters and stuff with uh, Mythic Legion. I mean, those are a little, they'll scale a little bit taller, but, I mean... Mm -hmm. People scale taller, you know, people, sure. it's, they're all yeah. over the place. It's an alien, you know, and you don't have to worry about like, well, this human is like, would be eight feet tall if they were, you know, in with my, you know, my right. mythic legions or something or vice versa. So uh, it's an alien. Who the hell cares? It's all, exactly. It's great. They're just good looking figures. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really cool, cool, cool line good, to get in, good to see them, the uh, in November again, too. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, I think. All we got to talk about left here is this mysterious square, which we could kind of talk about while we're doing the uh, the, the, the sort of in-hand look here at Gaspar and Gowrich, which I will bring up uh, right now. So we got, bring this to the stage. Where are we? Boom. Um, so Jeremy on the Forish, forish Horseman O'Clock show uh last last week god is the week has it been two weeks <laughs> it's last week no it was last, last week. week it was last yeah. week yeah. okay I, I am really it's everything's blending into it's the, the next the eclipse week. man it jumbles your scrambles your brains all i think it possibly <laughs> is um uh yeah so uh surprised so so here's a quick story uh we go to to mesquite con and jeremy pulls me aside and he's like listen i gotta i gotta talk to you a little bit about you know what's coming up i hadn't had these you know musky con i hadn't had them in hand yet um for photography and uh he's like here's what we're doing here's here's the two figures i'm like oh those look great it was really cool he's like these are george and chris tributes and i'm like how the How's fuck that are you pulling that off <laughs> like, how is that <laughs> happening he's like they don't know we're, we're just calling them the the monk and the swordsman and i'm thinking they got to know what's up. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, like, you know, more power to you if you've gotten this by them. But he did. Like, they didn't know, man. It was it was <laughs> shocking. Amazing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yep. uh, we started talking about just what he needed from these things and the fact that, you know, he had um, put the doll with the other one. Although I think it was in the – I think it was in his layout shots with – with this guy but i don't know whatever i mean it didn't it didn't you know it didn't make a difference like because like they just didn't you know chris has got a million things going on i'm sure he's not paying attention <laughs> or thinking about like this might be him and george so uh it was wild that uh, he got that by them and they were actually surprised in the show i think i, I thought george was gonna fall out of his chair man like, yeah was that so was fun. a fun reveal very very fun um so kudos to jeremy for keeping that a secret and actually um you know uh having guys design their own tributes without knowing it yeah that's that's I a know. pretty good accomplishment right and, and george yeah, weighing in on here things and be, like eat the cake you know yeah. <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> i mean you know i, mean, I guess like sherry's gonna i can't imagine eventually she'll get something but i get same thing right. you're gonna be painting right. your own tribute you know but, yeah, yeah. Or cameron yeah. or anybody else like that but i mean these two For guys sure. they are so involved along the entire process especially Chris. yeah I mean, George, you heard him on the show is like, like, what is this? What is the story of these guys? Like, why does he have this thing? You know, he's questioning, like, the things that he's got. And why would you do that? <laughs> Shut you know, off. George, you know, because, you know, George hates fun. Right. right. Um, so, you know, that's his job, I guess. And, uh, you know, Chris, you know, Chris's job to get things done. And, um, you know, so it, it's 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 uh, pretty amazing that he got this going. But I love this set. Like. Uh, when I got it in hand, oh, man. colors. So you're gonna see something here, a little behind the scenes secret uh, that you don't know about. But um, mm -hmm. let me let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. So we know we know the story. We read the story about them. I love it. To me, um, and the reason that um, like I did the uh, the shot that I did uh, with the two of them was great shot. Thank you. Was yeah, um, yeah, I love that. They that reminded way. me awesome. of like a Kurosawa. Like if you like Kurosawa, like if you've watched it, there's always that comedy team. There's the you know the old samurai and the guy that travels with him or something or is that you know there's all these that comic mm -hmm. relief uh, aspect to a lot of those those movies. 
And the, that's what this reminded me of. These two guys just traveling, you know, the countryside and they're always arguing and, and fight. kind of almost like the um, uh, the um, the guys from uh, uh, Rogue One as well. Um, uh, Bays. Bays and. Oh, um, yeah. Cheer it. Yeah. Cheer it. Cheer it. Cheer it. Yeah. Bays and, yeah. Bays and cheer it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, very much yeah. like that two two man like sort of like comic relief type of thing, uh, which is perfect for them. So, and I I uh, picture in this photo too, if George's character were to move out of the way, the sun mm -hmm. isn't back there providing that light. It's that pillow that's on the couch with them. <laughs> it's just <laughs> radiating, you know. Yeah, like like the Teletubby sun, but the pillow. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking that that's funny. I wasn't going to say yeah. that. I don't know if anyone would get that reference. So I'm glad you said that. <laughs> totally <laughs> that's um that, that was in the back of my mind <laughs> uh if i'd had more time there probably would have been a uh Gowrich and gaspar pillow somewhere in here but uh, I didn't get time. um so let's take a look at these guys let's bring this up here and I'll swap oh i guess i gotta remove that and i do this i guess i can do this and swap that there we go beautiful all right, let me put a little light on this guy. So we're going to start out with Gaspar. Um, and this is, you know, obviously George's, that's, that light is terrible. Let me go, go through here. There, there we go. That's, eh, that's all right. That's fine. Um, so yeah, so we've got um, these, you know, doesn't skip, not skipping leg day for sure. No. Um, so what what is the deal with it? These are... Um, these are brute scale wraps, right? But I believe the legs yeah. are just 1.0 legs, but we the, haven't the had the lower bare... leg is new though, yeah, right? The lower it's leg a is a new but... lower leg, but it may, you yeah. know, it may actually double as um brute scale lower legs as well, you know what I mean? They are a little if you look at them right. on the leg, it they're big. I mean, he's definitely, you know. He's uh he's been working out with the uh the leg lift a lot yeah. of those so right, they may work right. for both I'm not really sure but I know that the wraps are definitely brute scale wraps that's what he yeah. said um, yeah so yeah I believe it. the lower legs are brand new and I think the feet are too because if we ever got bare feet they always have that almost that armor ring around that sort of where they connect yes exactly um, and these so are just these come off. flesh yeah these come off I'm gonna try and take the foot off one of these feet off. Sorry for the ASMR. Um, <laughs> ooh, Jesus. Always scary with the prototypes. But there you go. That's what that looks like underneath there. Uh, right on. That's so, yeah, that is going to be get... such a useful part. Oh, man. Right? All, Both all of that. these. Just, I'm thinking just... this might actually fit like an... Uh, it might be too big for an ogre wrist wrap. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering that. I don't know. We could try it. Hmm. We'll give it a shot. Um, the one thing I did discover with this, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, Curtis, Curtis is saying exactly what I, I believe. That was my yep. understanding as well. That they're between, kind of in between yeah. brute and one and can kind of work for both of them. Mm -hmm. So cool. I think they may be the solution for both of those lower legs. Um, but yeah, he's got so he's got the red death. I love this. This looks great. The two different. Uh, he's got a waist tunic. He's got uh, this belt on underneath here. Uh, so he's got one of the newer belts. Uh, and then this, uh, just I, CJ. Amazing. Keithlin just crush yeah. it, man. These things look so perfect. And these beads work perfectly for this. I know Jeremy yeah, was talking Monkey about King. that. Yeah, in terms of. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. You know, being a monk figure and working for a monk and that those those just stood out as like, yeah. And, and as soon as I saw them on, I was like, yeah, this is incredible. So these are these are parts. These are not wraps that go around like a bare forearm. That is a, the actual forearm right there. So right. same as the Varg wraps, cool. right? Or wrist wraps? Yes. Isn't that right? Yep. Yep. I mean, you can see how much <laughs> you know paint touch up you have to do on these prototypes. Um, I did discover this. This looks pretty good. If anybody got the Lige. Oh. I'm loving that. That's oh, pretty damn yeah. good. Man, it's that not perfect. Great. 
Looks but really it's good, kind of, though. It's because it's so transitional, there is color right. in between here that kind of matches this skin tone. It mm -hmm. it can pass. It's not perfect. I buy that. It definitely that looks pass. really cool. And the and the, there's another reason I bring this up because I think it actually will work better on um, Gowrich than Gaspar as well. So okay. Um, then we got, of course, the that's for him. Um, oh, Curtis is correcting me. Those are the brute wrist wraps, not the Varg. Right. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Curtis. These are. That's what he says. The brute brute size. I don't think. I don't know. Um, then we got the uh, Michael Xavier head, apparently. <laughs> yeah, brother I Xavier, about, the enabler. I, brother Xavier, the man, enabler. Uh, That's awesome. Retro, man, I'm super retconned. For him. <laughs> <laughs> into having a second figure, Michael. I don't even have one. <laughs> He's got two now. <laughs> Gotta bring this light down a little bit because it's still too bright. Yeah, that's better. That shows up better. Um, yeah, this is this is great looking. Love that. Yeah, very wise um, looking head. And then you've got the dwarf head, which we never showed on the large body, but I think it I think it works. I, I, I do too. Heck yeah. I put dwarf bodies on like regular. I mean, I know it's like the kind of proportions of the face, the nose, the ears are always a little bit like oversized and stuff, but there are human sized people that have, you know, oversized features. So Yeah. Yeah, but that there. that dwarf pugilist, when you put it all together with the, the oh, dwarf yeah. Oh, legs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no. We're gonna man. do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Um I I had I had to put cool it on that boxing... finally get this head, you know, again. Yeah, that, but, that, but even, monk... that looks, even that looks yeah. pretty cool, right? Like, it does, like that. Actually. I mean, there are a lot of different ways mm -hmm. you could this skirt will go on, obviously, for the dwarf legs, but it's going to be a little long. But, I mean, you could, like, you know, fudge it a little bit, too. But, um, yeah, this looks incredible with this body. I love I love the skin tone on this thing. Looks great. All right, let's heat this up a little bit. Looks like it has the new neck type, too. It does, yeah. With the hinge, got, uh, which is awesome. Oh, you got a hinge. Yeah, Valiant yeah. Knight head. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yep, right on. Oh, there it is. I hope that's uh, just going to be a regular thing from now on. Yeah, uh, for sure. Okay, there we go. So there's your belt type. I'm nice. Sure what the first thing this has come with before? Do we know? There's so uh, many belt types now. I've kind of forgotten like when what came with what and when. Was uh, with the uh, uh, Alithia wave, wasn't it? For the Xylonus flock figures. I believe they so. Those? Yeah, I believe Think so. Might have been. Yep. Yeah, you're right. And then you got this, which we haven't seen, I don't think, in a while. Uh, yeah. Underneath that. So that's the that. same that's one as. Uh, da, 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 that's da, da, da. early. Yeah. Um, this, uh, oh, my God. What's the skeleton scapular? with the red stripes? Not no, the red. Um, yeah. Tip I'm blind. I could have told you. Tibius? Tibius. Tibius. Yeah. Tibius. I could have told you if you didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I know, exactly. That's, that's what happens to me, too. Uh, so that's cool. I'll paint it up in like kind of a brown leather. Yeah, leather. very cool. Um, again, this is something that on the other figure, on Chris's figure, I, I used as a, I think this totally works. Um, because just the Yeah, way that it's was sewn, a great idea. That looked just awesome. Just the way it's sewn. Yeah. I asked Jeremy, I'm like, can I do this? He's like, if it works, cool. I mean, to me, it looks like it. I it love totally that look. Works. Like, yeah, it's, it's like a yeah. shorter cloak. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm going to put that on while we put on the uh, lower legs for the dwarf. We could put this in here. We could put the other belt on too. Wow, that that actually looks really good on the dwarf. Yeah, with the I'm dwarf body. This. Wow. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to limit myself to two of these, and the more I find out, the the harder it is. <laughs> it's going to be to, to I know. only get a few. Because just just those legs and a few heads are what are going to be the exclusive pieces yeah. ah, for this just pack so much at Legion's Con. So, yeah, that looks awesome. How great is that? That's right? amazing. Yeah, I love getting this exactly. uh, skin tone now too. More of it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. This it's it's really nice to have some picture uh, figures with a complexion too. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. 
not that there hasn't been a a, a a a lot of those you know in the line overall but i'm i'm really loving oh the sure tone sure the different tones that they're putting in you know what i mean yeah, i like yeah. this tone mm -hmm. especially but it still can work with a lot of things again mm -hmm. like this this works out really well i think but damn yeah i gotta tell you man that i'm gonna have to get really a bunch cool. just for this because i love yeah. this look i know mm -hmm. Like as soon as I put this together, that boxing pose, that nineteen yeah, I love that pose. Yeah, pose. I was like, I got to do that because it's yeah. just so much fun. It's uh, like that picture that uh, Amy, Katie, um, what's yes, name? Katie, Katie Combs, yeah, Katie Combs, exactly. yeah, with, yeah. Uh, yeah, with Sergeant Slaughter, yep. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, mind. yeah. Um, yeah. Again, these things don't stay in well because they are prototypes. But um, right. man, I I love this. How great is that? Damn. That yeah. works perfect for that. Yep. Love it. Yeah. The pugilist dwarf, like as soon as I saw it, you know, of course I had to make the, the joke that hopefully they don't fight in a no low blows contest because they don't have any <laughs> choice. But you know, the, but I'm but I mean it just just like the the roughneck type dwarven boxer, you know. As soon as I saw that picture, I was like, I have to have that on my shelves. Yeah, it's Gosh. great that we get two fists it's, with yeah. this guy. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you can, you know, any one of these will work as, you know, you could have a dwarf orc, obviously. Mm -hmm. Looks good as mm -hmm. well. A dwarf? A dwarf. <laughs> there dwarf. you go, Joe. <laughs> or uh, a, a dwavier, I guess. Or uh, right. <laughs> dwikel. A brother dwavier. <laughs> Maybe. That works too. Put the beads on them. I think this, I, I just, I don't know. I know he didn't do this on purpose because it's built for the waist. But goddamn, mm -hmm. that works pretty damn well for, as yeah, a, that was a wrap on man. the shoulder. It yeah. does. I was really surprised how well it sat there. I, I actually really like it. I think they could probably mm -hmm. get away with doing that in the future, like for a, like a double, double usage. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Nice. So that is uh, Gaspar, and then I'm going to bring over, and he's a little fiddly because, you know, it's a prototype, but uh, he's also, you know, Chris's figure, so he's fiddly as well. <laughs> or fidgety that's fidgety and i think it's quite apropos that uh these end, ended up being in the basilia uh faction and um, emphasis on silly yeah. <laughs> exactly I, so i actually yeah. love the colors you know i, I know a lot of people colors, man yeah man, i'm I, loving it i know a lot of people don't like the motu tributes because they they usually use the kind of off-brand colors for them and stuff being brighter but i I think that's super appealing. Like everything having the same tones and things like, like this is really going to stand out. This figure has kind of even a jester look to it, but he's a sword master. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I love that variety. Like, like throwing different things into, you know, on a shelf is, is. Yep. Really yeah. I appreciate cool. that too. I, at first I was like, believe it or not, even against snag at one point, just because that blue in his hat didn't seem to fit with a, palette sort of just the, right the right. earthy you know browns and leathers and mm -hmm. so you know golds and but of course once i got it, i'm like what an idiot but yeah i think it's anytime you ex can expand the color palette it's awesome yeah, so truthfully absolutely. and i i don't even know why i didn't think about this when i was shooting these i guess because they i had to shoot them together this is the color that this will be um as you can see in the pictures we just i can't lose parts hang on a second so just have to go back um but it is going to be more like this as you see in the in the photos it's going to be it's going to match this a lot better um I so you. you know in prototypes sometimes you know the color they're still working on things they got to get it out so we had to kind of color correct that but um what you're oh. going to get here will be more in line with this this tone here so ah, okay. yeah that's pretty good close yeah, yeah this is pretty close and what you see in the pictures is pretty pretty close we we tried to match it as close as possible mm. but this is kind of what it came with and it was he was like no we can't that's not going to be it so right um but you do get that orange with the the cloak for gaspar too so you could always use that if you, on there if you wanted to um but uh, so it's here's, here's, yeah a little less rust color and more of a I don't know, it's got more brown. It's gonna have a little more reddish brown into brownish it, like red, a brick, yeah. more right. of a brick color to it. Yeah. Um and it might be close to this. I don't know. It depends all it depends on materials that they can get and stuff, but I think mm -hmm. it's gonna be a little darker than this. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be this color, so 
um, that's what you're going to get. Just, so, just so you know. Uh, I wonder, Kurt. It's, yet uh, anyway, you don't have to pre-order it, so you don't have to worry about it. You're just going to buy it at the, at the show. So forget what you're <laughs> Curtis says, "I don't get the plast V plastic loincloth mixed with soft goods." That said, this two pack has unlimited options, and I love it. I wonder if, um, much like they did with the Xylernian Guard, if they would do a a soft and a plastic loin piece. I wonder if they'll end up doing that. But... I don't know. Um... It may be a cost consideration. I'm not really sure. I know they have yeah, those already, but then you have to source materials that's going to match the colors up. I guess if you had the material already, I don't know, campaign for it, man. I don't know. I don't know what to yeah. tell you. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if that's something they end up doing, but if it if it doesn't. It could be. It could but, be. Yeah. The only, the only issue with that also is, and I don't know, I'm trying to think back, what... What is the other things we've gotten though that have the cloth tabard don't have like a skirt, right? Or or do they have there been both? Lady Averona, the Zylernian guard. guard. Is the Zylernian guard have a he doesn't have a skirt, no. No, no. he doesn't have a skirt. No. No. I thought that Z I thought I thought that um um Does Alithia? I I can't remember. No. But I thought that um, shit. Mm. What's her name? Um, Artemis too did, doesn't she? Or doesn't she? She both. Came with both. God, I can't remember. But what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at is that's two things that have to go over the ball joint. You oh, know what I mean? Whereas right. this plugs in the front oh. and it's more bulk mm -hmm. for that that seating of the ball in on itself. So that may yeah. be a consideration that they didn't want to overtax that area mm. you know what i mean or have where it was popping something. apart because, because there's, there's too no... much in there yeah uh, yeah be... because these are they're not retooling anything on these these are production right. parts right. right for the most part mm. unless they're new parts but they're also at that point done for production so mm -hmm. uh, right. i don't think right. that the... it, it might be a consideration i don't know maybe jeremy knows more about that than i do i'm not sure but um but yeah it's, it's a good point to bring up but so you got these antlers. If you don't like the antlers, you can always find some other horns that you've got around, um, you know, to plug in there. There could be some really cool things that maybe, you know, would go well with this. I like the antlers. I think they're really cool. Mm -hmm. You've got the kind of kabuki looking, but I guess not kabuki. I don't know. I think Jeremy was talking about this. Yeah, this they, cool they said one. it was more like Chinese opera. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Jeremy said on his show. Inspired, yeah, which I guess Kabuki it, is Japanese. I don't know what Chinese, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. which uh, ironically again was Chris's suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. He's designing his own figure, and he didn't right. even know it. <laughs> yeah, that uh, looks really cool. Really cool. I like the green eyes. You know, against yeah. the black. Yeah, black. Yeah, they really pop. You know, I it, love it, this paint job. I love it. It almost reminds me of like a professional wrestler like like sting in the early 90s you know yeah yeah like, you know road it's warriors got, uh, and stuff they had all those fun designs and colors yeah it's got a it's got a lucha right sort of look right. Door, yeah. <laughs> too, yeah. um yeah can we like yeah can you show like the top of the head because like jeremy was talking about how it really does look like it's painted on because it sort of fades into the fur there and yeah you can That's really it. see yeah. it that yeah I don't know if they'll fade it more, but it does look like it's basically it's this lion character who's painted their yeah. fur or dyed their fur, you mm -hmm. know, to match that thing. That's wild. That's very yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. It's a whole other character. I mean, that could be a great monkey king companion. It, and he has the the white goatee, you know. You guys got to enjoy go. that, right? <laughs> there you go. Right? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, if it, it had a black streak in the front of it, Joe. I think you've got your I know, <laughs> I know. Down. That maybe next year. <laughs> you keep blowing those fuses your beard's gonna all be all white yeah I, right resetting that main breaker i was kind of wondering <laughs> and then you got uh sort of boba fetish um and jeremy said that this is a helmet that's been in every i didn't realize it's been every uh legions con at least one set it was yeah. in with the un, uncone right. one mm -hmm. um, and of course his pete his uh figure yep, his um and this looks cool with the antlers, but I could see doing something other than the antlers on this one too. Uh, of course, I'm drawing a blank on the name now. What what's the the gray orc with the wings? Uh, Zenithon. 
yes, those, Jonathan, oh, yeah. those uh, ports on him might look pretty good if you're doing like a Boba Fett ish type yeah. Oh, yeah. style, you know, make yeah, it a little yeah. bit more low profile. Mm hmm. That's is a there, good idea. Is there, do we have anything cosmic that, that fits this yet? That has like that kind of that same port? I don't think so, right? I don't think we have any characters that have anything on them that sort of fit that. They're all right so. here. Well, too far away well no, we do <laughs> because, we, well, there's just the points. We've got those little uh, spike things that come oh, out. Oh, from operative? From operative, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's mm. about it. But those could look cool. That could be a very Boba Fett type of look. Yeah, that's the same spikes that's on Xenathon, though, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I could see I could see some people doing some third party things that it's actually like his little Oh uh, for sure. I was just thinking you know, the eye piece, uh, you know? The, oh yeah. The, the vampire uh oh what was the one that was just out for reinforcements to the vampire Oh uh the I forget I its name, it's, but it's yeah. not Sentinel, but yeah. No, uh, I know what you're talking about. But but it has those those um yeah, you know, those long straight yep, like yep. I'd grab it. Not yeah. The phalanx, the yeah, vampire phalanx. Phalanx, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phalanx, phalanx. That's right, yeah. Phalanx, yeah. Thank you, chat. Um, Thank you, chat. But it's got, you know, like one of those on one side might look cool. Like, you know, you could fold it down mm -hmm. in front of the yeah, eye. Asymmetrical right. would be pretty cool, yeah. too. Yeah, for sure. Right. Um, so this is the staff that comes with uh, Gaspar. And as uh, everybody's like pointed out, this is a cosmic staff. Mm hmm so that's cool i mean it's great it looks great it looks very much like something that you'd use as like a sort of a walking stick slash weapon slash magic yeah for sure stick. um forgot to show his nunchucks <laughs> which yeah, is was awesome a very cool that idea a really yeah. great cool idea that. yeah really great idea uh and you can tuck them under the shoulder i had a picture like that i didn't end up using it but uh, you know, <laughs> right on thing like that get the, the bruce lee pose in there Exactly, the Bruce Lee pose. Mm -hmm. Yep, I had one of those. Uh, Gowrich comes with two, you know, two of your basic swords and sheaths. Uh, and he's got, you know, the two openings here, so you can put both of those in there. Looks really cool with both of them in there, too. Right on. It's very, very kind of splayed out, like very much like a, you know, just a crazy, you know, you got two swords in there. And yeah, like uh, yeah. characters we're, cool. we're seeing in, in Shogun right now. Yes, yep. Right. Right. Cool paint up on the mind. Yeah, that's awesome. I like those. Real, I really like the color scheme, man. I'm really a, a huge fan of this color Absolutely. scheme. Absolutely. Very, it's very muted, but it it works. You know, I don't know. They seem they seem like their own sort of team, but they don't look like they're matched up too closely. You know what I mean? They're not right. 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 You know, they don't look like a team. They just look like they happen to have some of the same materials and a few of the same. You know, colors. I don't think there's a lot of green on Gaspar at all. So, you know, that's unique right. to, to Garwich. Um, but this head, so this is his neck. I think this head could be your unmasked, right? I mean, to some degree, yeah. that's like, no, it's not perfect because he's fading, but like right. it, it could be your un, you could stand in for your unmasked Garwich. Mm -hmm. head. Right. I dig it. You that's super cool. Yeah. That's a great head. Yeah, this is that is cool. That's that. that's one of the things that I've been thinking about too. Is do I want to get a bunch of these packs and and try to all mix and match with the parts in this, or do I want to get a few of these and then a bunch of other characters, you know, and and pop and swap some things together right. with the different heads and stuff? Like, there's so much that you can do. And then you got this. You could easily. Well, this this is the base. This is where I put the cape. I won't do that now, but you've you've seen the pictures of it. Mm -hmm. The cape looks really good with this. I just thought it, he looked very swashbucklery. Yeah. Um, even though he's, you know, yeah, as he much as I like those pauldrons, I'd love this character without them too. So do I. Yeah. yeah, I dig it. I dig it without the pauldrons as well. Yeah. Oops. How does that? How does the skin tone on that head look like? Uh, like with the old um, original barbarian builder. Is it the is original it pretty close barbarian to builder? Of... Uh, let me go grab one. Hang on a second. Well, I will tell you. Yeah, I think looks a little whiter, but maybe not like paler. I should say, but right, it's hard right. to tell. Yeah, I know it's not maybe as orange as the new builder. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I Which is a good thing. Is, yes, I think this is the old barbarian builder body right here. Oh, maybe it feels okay. 
Hang on. I gotta, now I gotta get this neck out of here. That's the problem. Just popped it on really tight. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not coming out without <laughs> without a tweezer. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pop I'm just gonna put it in front of it. Um Sure, sure. It's pretty good. I mean there you go. Like oh, I mean yeah. this is this looks a little not yellowish, bad. but they both look a little yellowish. I don't know, it's the light mm-hmm. here. But I think it's up close. I'm telling you, it's a very good match. You will not see a difference between that neck and the head by right the, time the beard. Right yeah, the beard uh, separates. So really good. good. Yeah, mm-hmm. it looks good. Really call, good. Joe. Yeah, it's not got an orange. Extra. It's not orange like that new barbarian right. for sure. Right, right. 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 Yep. All right. I I still have a barbarian builder pack that I haven't opened. And I've just been saving it for that something to jump out at me. And yep. when I saw that head, I was like, Yeah, that might be it. Cool. Hey, so Trevor, uh, Babylon thing, yeah. Squared is asking if you have the Lee J Elf hat handy to try on this body. This body on yeah. on Gowrich? Yeah. Yeah, I can go. He can't that. because he he got the neck pig stuck. Sorry. Well, I'll uh, in while I'm going to do that, I'll, I'll, hold I'll unplug that. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. This. Yeah, a couple of people's asking for that. Right on. Yeah, that uh it's it's just a really fun fun body combination of colors. I like that that yellow and green together. Yeah, and the fact you know, we're getting uh seven different heads in this pack, that's insane. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. This I'm thinking yeah. you're going to need another like neck piece for unless you cut well, you know what? Let's put the this will help cover it up a little bit. Yeah, I think uh Jeremy just he just said, I kept adding heads, and they kept saying, oh, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said he almost pushed it to eight. So it's almost like a heads pack with two figures. Yeah. Seriously, I yeah. Where, yeah. I know where Jim hands was during getting. that discussion. Right. But uh, that even looks kind of cool with just one pauldron on, too, like, like that, right? That yeah. is slick. Yeah. Really neat. I'm not a huge fan of this head. I mean, I like it with the helmet. Mm-hmm. It looks really good with the helmet for sure. I think yeah. if you painted that helmet to match the green on here or even the silver or something oh, like yeah. that, it could be a good looking mm-hmm. uh, figure for, you know, more of a, a, you know, samurai type thing. It could be mm-hmm. cool. Right. Right. Because I do like it with the helmet. That helmet is very cool. Um, I know some people had a problem with the back of it being open, but eh, I mean, you know. for it to work though, the way it does, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at it from a functionality of a figure yeah. and not really the functionality of a soldier. <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, because well, looking much. at those heads, you might even be able to pop that on like like the other bald heads, the the helmet for Lee J. Oh, let's you give know. it a shot. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> See if that fits any of the I don't know if it, has anybody tried it on this? I okay. haven't. But... Uh, I mean, it's not the ears kind of get in the way of it really good stuff, Jordan. Down, but it's it's not horrible. I mean, right. You can fudge it. Not bad. Hmm. Uh, so the chat has been cool. apparently adding oh, up the number of figures that <laughs> came with both the fabric loin and the um that Oh, cool. that looks good. Yeah, that is cool. Um, the, what? the fabric loin and the waist piece. Apparently, there's 13 that have had that. So good okay. smoothing work uh, in the chat. Thank <laughs> you. That's interesting stuff. Look at that with the gold and the gold. Oh, oh wow, man! That's that, that's that's, that's, right there, right? that's the pimp monk right there. <laughs> 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 that's wild. Well, you could definitely steal great. a couple of other gold uh, pieces from. Yeah, from maybe Lige, the bracers, like, an, like the like gold an arm bracers. or something. Yeah, or the, yeah. 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 Now I just want to see that hat on. Like, uh... he's not going to war. He's going to the club. Right. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's cool as hell. I love it. I don't think it's going to fit on this dwarf head, Rare. I got to suspect. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the yeah. spread of the beard. It's a cool helmet, though, man. I would love to see yeah. more stuff like that that's versatile like that. For sure. I kind of dig that, but you can't even see this guy. Now he's looking like Mr. T. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the fool. 
<laughs> the big gold chain. Mardi Gras monk. <laughs> that's right. So there you go. I mean, that's we got it. We got a tail. So you can, you know, you get your boom boom hole in the back of Garrich. Right. Oh, just what I've always wanted. I know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, think of it that way. Yeah, it's a hell um, of a stat, man. It's gonna be a blast to play with. It really oh, is, yeah. and and these all all these heads are gonna work. Obviously, gonna work really well on this if you want to do like a, you know, an open orc, you know, on <clears> on this thing or something like that. That could be a, a cool look too. You know, that looks good. You yeah. Know? yeah. I mean, there's no skin tone to match here, but it. It's kind of just the the overall tones of everything kind of work mm -hmm. well together. So yeah, it's uh it's it's cool, man. I'm I love this set. I'm really happy. I this I'm so happy with. I mean, I know the oh. dwarf people are too. Um, right. I just yeah, that's I really fantastic. Love, look at the like the rust uh, the color of this the kind uh, of the leathery mm -hmm. feel of that. This love paint. that. New and stuff those are boots. Gorgeous. Those are new feet too. Those yeah, new feet. Yeah. Yep, new feet. The, yeah. Yep. Yep. There we go. Very cool. That, that's cool. Yeah. And this is only day one, folks. We still got another. It's only day one. Another reveal it's coming. Day one. We got more coming. Um, I think you're going to be happily, pleasantly surprised. Do you um, say? Uh, <laughs> toy. There's. That's all I'm going to say. That's cool to get a repaint of that, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, if you get multiples, you know, at the show, mm -hmm. then throw another one with uh, your uh, Father Christmas figure. That's yes, right. Yeah. Be another present under the tree this year, kitties. Or, or, or Red Krampus. Death. Yeah. Krampus. He's, you know, <laughs> luring in the kitties. Um, yeah. I mean, look at all that, man. Look at all these heads, man. It's insane. All these heads. Yeah. Heads, hands, crazy. weapons. Yeah, that's great set. And these soft goods again, like not this one, but you will get two <laughs> skirt. You will get two skirt pieces, but they'll be a little, little bit closer to that. Like I said, mm. uh, except for this piece, this this uh, wrap, which is awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, what a great set, man. This is going to be great. Uh, we still haven't. We don't have a price on this yet, right? No, but he's saying it's going to be right around the hundred dollar mark. So whether that yeah. means it's going to be a hundred or maybe a little bit more, because we're getting so much. Right. Yeah. I'm going to suspect it's going to be more, a little bit higher than that. 120, 115, maybe. I, I don't guess know. like 110. I mean, 110, maybe yeah. 120 on the high end or something. Again, have an ask. Don't know. Don't go by me. Don't right. tell anybody that trips. But I mean, just look at everything that you've got laying there on the table. It, it's, yep. There's a ton of value in it. A ton of yeah. value. Yep. All this can be yours. Yeah, I mean it's gonna, it's going to be worth getting this pack as opposed to waiting for the the single versions of these just because the extra yeah. stuff you get, man, you really get a lot. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Thomas Belay just um, did the math: two hundred fifteen days to go, folks. Wow, mm -hmm. insane! <laughs> it's going to be so fast, man. It's going to be so crazy fast. <laughs> this will be my first one, so I I'm I cannot oh, wait I for you to be there. That oh, seems yeah. uh, just hard to fathom, but I, yeah, Joe, it really it's is. gonna be fantastic. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's and of gonna course, be I, I just want to meet everybody. Like, spend two days just shaking hands, you know, <laughs> like oh, like yeah. I'm campaigning yep. for office or something. Hey, yep, yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> that's you'll be doing it, <laughs> shaking hands, hugging, drinking, yeah. and of course, um, inevitably, <laughs> right, right. Um, Gaspar dislikes amusements you can get from Retro Rags. That is awesome. There you go. Fun stuff. Um, all right. Let's talk a little bit about this, and then we'll wrap up the show. We're going on eh, – we're over an hour and a half, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this. What the hell do you think this is? <laughs> it, it looks – you guys remember Space Invaders? Those little aliens? <laughs> Space Invaders? Mm -hmm. I'm old, too. They would go Joe. across the screen and keep dropping. Yeah. Down. So that's oh, what yeah. it looks like. <laughs> You think it's like a close up of a space invader or something? A yeah, it's like a, I mean I mean they kind of looked like that. So uh, maybe a, it's yeah, a cosmic space invader tribute cosmic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my initial thought was like something along the lines of like a, a faction colors, but then I was like maybe this is a maybe this is a zoomed in you know how when you when you zoom into something digital you mm -hmm. get you know a pixels, but I, I, it's just too much. So I put down that uh I got to move this stuff cuz I can't 
move my mouse, but um, I put a post up, and I think somebody else actually had a similar idea at the same time. Um, and then somebody went and put uh, the factions actually in there, but yeah, I think it was Kirby uh, did it, didn't he? I think Kirby did. Okay, yeah. I so I put them up next yeah. to the next to the um, the uh, uh, banners, the banner set. Um, mm -hmm. So if I go to the checklist. I don't know where these are. I think it was a weapons pack officially. Um, yeah, weapons pack four. So if we look at this, you can see you've got a purple. You've got kind of a magenta purple. There's two blues. There's this mm -hmm. you know, pale green, the orange, the red, the gray, but Etheron and the black, obviously, for Aerithere. But yeah. Etheron is white, and there is no white in here. So we do have the grays. We do have two different color blues. We have a purple and, and kind of a, a lavender magenta type of thing at least it is on here um orange which would have been xylona's flock on here but also a yellow which doesn't correspond to anything though i did find uh going by the pin set that came out the color pin set not the gold pin set that they just put out but the color pin set this was Ragor's pin color with the dragon uh quote unquote faction we don't even know if that's a faction or not i mean we assume well, what was the uh the on the valiant knight box I've got one handy. okay that i didn't think of oh the saline yeah uh, saline and helios yeah. yeah yeah and i have those actually so here's what those are that just uh, popped in my head so that could be an answer for that potentially so here's Helios and Celine. Let me. Can you unbiggin me, Nate? Or. Yep. Okay. So Helios and Celine are orange and blue. So that really doesn't help out much either because it's a different kind of color blue, although I guess you could make the argument. I don't know that these colors are completely core. Okay, you can take me down. Completely correspond nope. to, you know, the colors on. Um, <laughs> Whoa, what are we doing? I don't know what Hang that on. is. There we go. Okay. We back? No. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, um and the tagline, the mysteries of mythos. So Yeah, I was just gonna pull that up. Yeah. yeah, is that referencing that this is a puzzle or does it have something to do a hint towards what the wave might be? I don't know. It I mean you could look at you could look at the black as spaces and it could be like one of those push puzzle type of things where you move things around, but to what end, like, is it, yeah. does it create an image? Does it, it can, well, I mean, it's not gonna create an image, but like, does it create some sort of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. Yeah. I can't believe this green is not connected to, this green it's just too it's yeah close, i mean you know what i mean i mean it's it's got to be the all-stars and it's the 10th year or yeah. yeah so that we're potentially going to get votes from every faction that exists except etheron mm -hmm. sorry joe except etheron but if it's all stars I have plus all, so i'm good maybe maybe etheron no. we're just going to get joe russo <laughs> oh <laughs> maybe we're just sorry gonna i should get... have stipulated which joe i was talking okay. about yeah. <laughs> we're just going to get some new etheron figs in the plus part that we don't know about that that's not yeah. going to be part of the voting yeah or these black squares aren't all erythir they're mystery squares i don't know i don't know i don't good. know what is what is everybody thinking in the chat like and because uh, uh there's speculation too which i thought was interesting when you see mm -hmm. colors that are right next to each other so it yeah. almost makes it seem like it's a bigger space does that mean it's for a bigger figure who knows maybe a horse or a mount or something like that but the other thing i thought was okay what if if this is going by um certain figures from the wave is it following like the order uh alphabetically but it doesn't it has no correspondence to that as far as i saw um somebody did go in on the cabal i don't know how i'm going to look this up because i don't was it kirby do you think i think it was but it would have been within was it kirby smith the original or kirby post of it kirby hughesby or kirby smith smith Yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, there Boom. it is. There yeah. we go. Perfect. All right, Kirby, way to go. <laughs> yeah, so, so he filled so he it put in. put Etheron in the yellow, yeah. 
He did. I don't know if that's correct or not. I mean, I unless know. they're well, he does have the asterisk by it. So for there you go. Um, uh, unless, you know, somebody said, well, maybe they'll make Etheron, you know, gold like the, the Heavens brand or some of the trim that some of the knights have. But it doesn't really mm -hmm. make much sense to me because unless there's a reason that they didn't want white in here for some. some and there's reason. only one from Leodiceus, like. I, that's, I don't know, that's yeah, kind of weird. Which is, is only I two yeah. from Olithia. I mean, yeah. or yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's it makes sense. It does but make I, sense, but it, but it doesn't. <laughs> but I don't know what it means. What does it mean? Oh, uh, every party needs a pooper. No, I shouldn't say that because we're getting a super <laughs> chat. If you move the blues up and the black ones down towards the middle, it makes a tombstone for the death of all stars. I don't. He's. I don't know what his problem with all stars. I don't get it. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. No, nobody's forcing you to buy him, Curtis. You don't have to buy anything. Um, I like. I like all stars. Um, but I don't know. I I, a, you know. Yeah. Are we doing all stars? A brand new figure from each one of these factions. Who the heck knows? Maybe. I mean. Uh. Well. Well. Gaspar and Garich are. Basilia. And there's two there. So is this, could this be everything we're getting this year? That's coming. But again, well, like, I don't understand ether on being gold. I have noble bears. Yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's a mystery. Did, did, was there a noble date? Bears. No, but there's a lot of noble bears for just having a wave of noble bears, but they just, they did that with Necronominus, right? We yeah, got they did. Necronominus and then we got an all-star or a, uh, uh, yeah. Was that an yeah. all star? With the, I mean, yeah, there's... that was an all star, with a whole bunch of other new Necronominus figures. So yeah. I don't know, there man. Could another Necron... There could be an all star with a whole bunch of Noble Bearer figures. Who knows? I forget. Was there a date attached to this announcement as of when we're gonna know what it is? Was it the twenty fourth? Uh, no hints as to when we're gonna know uh, what it's it is. April no. twenty three. Oh, April twenty twenty four. So we're gonna yeah. know within yeah. April. Just... Okay. 10 years of mythic legions it has something to do with the 10 year book somebody said well maybe this is the cover it of the says book mysteries of mythos again that yep that to me since yeah just as a hashtag i feel like there's and something the something there thing. that we're missing that that's a key component to this yep. you know yep hmm. i might have to ask we're getting a, <laughs> now that so, I've done the show and we're, we've done right, some. I've right. already put a post up. I can probably go ahead and ask and just shut up. It'd be funny if it was like just a pixelized map or something, and we totally overthink it like usual. I d I thought about that too. Is this like a simplified map, but it, of like where factions are in Mythos? But that doesn't make any sense either because they're not spread out like this. They're all in one. Zylona's flock is in you know Zylernia and you know. Right. I mean, just like a section of the map, like like mm -hmm. zoomed in like super zoomed in or something mm -hmm. you know as a teaser the so mysteries. i'm really curious what the mysteries mm -hmm. part is are we gonna make maybe get some um like some monsters some things that are maybe you know like forest spirits or yeah dryad you know a, a werewolf you know it's a mystery yeah. because they're they're one form and then they're another mm -hmm. yeah i don't know just just yeah. speculation but yeah I mean, well, it's just, a, it's a lot of different disparate, like we said, like factions. So yeah, we may be wrapping up on the whole faction versus faction um, wave type of thing and getting more of a story yeah. type of thing or something like that. But maybe that story has something to do with like little stories and maybe there's, yeah. maybe that's what that is. Maybe, maybe these are all the figures that we might get this year or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not really. Cause I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know what's coming up next. I got a couple things on my table, but it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not telling you what they are, but I'm telling you, it doesn't give me any hints as to what this means. So, uh, well, well, that's just... what to me makes me think that, um, because obviously you normally get stuff ahead of time. So, you know, what's being revealed. And if this is going to be revealed within this month and you don't know yeah. what it is, it makes me think it's time for all stars. It's at this time of year. Yeah. You didn't have to shoot anything new, so we're just going to see a bunch of figures that we've already seen on here. They match up with the factions, and it's an yeah, all stars vote. But there's some. There are times with all stars that I'm shooting all stars too, but it may, uh, you know what I mean? Like I, if they don't have 
the figure out and we don't have a new picture of it or something although i am shooting all the photos now for the back for the i, I don't, for the I, don't book, know. Yeah. I, I can't tell you too much uh beyond that but like i i'm telling you is i just don't know from what i have what this means so mm. that's all i know yeah, it's, it's fun. Mystery. I love the tease and I love the yeah. get everyone talking and speculating. It's it's fun, man. It's, Whatever yeah, it is, that. you won't be disappointed. We're getting an elephant. You're never disappointed. We're getting a purple uh, maybe, elephant, oh, Jordan. Sherlock Holmes figure. There you go. We just have to figure <laughs> right. it. It's a mystery. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> oh. the detectives faction. Yeah, detective right. fashion. <laughs> Rob Zamora with the four ninety nine. Uh, to me, it looks like an abstract picture of my <laughs> bank account going into the negative. Uh, yeah, slowly, right? Just like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It, it's yeah. Only, only one red square, though, so, you know, not too bad yet. Yeah, <laughs> if I squint real hard, those look like divorce papers. Yeah. Right. Mm. right. Yeah, that could be. It could be. <laughs> It could be good one, Rob. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate the uh, super chat. Um, <laughs> yeah, people are holding out hope for Celine and Helios. I think that would be cool. I was talking to somebody about yeah. that, or maybe it was on a show or something. Like, I don't, I don't know if those are too ethereal or mysterious to be actual figures. And if they were, I would kind of want them to be almost giant. You know what I mean? Like representations -like. of what they are yeah, yeah like mm -hmm. godlike and even maybe even semi-translucent or something like that which would right be cool. there, there's still two great beasts that we haven't gotten and yep. that's a freaking mystery also why we yeah. haven't gotten those so yep. true <laughs> enough true enough true enough yeah yep. yep all right well we've uh we've we figured out nothing tonight uh we don't we're still <laughs> in the same boat that we were in as when we started this thing and we yeah. were last week and nobody's really figured anything out we're shooting darts in the dark much like my friend never mind i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bust mal's balls um, well, i think uh, i don't know if as uh, speaking of brother xavier if he's the one who said it on the recent enablers podcast but it seems like this little calm before the storm we've been having right recently is yes it's it's going to be a big storm <laughs> from here on out come end of april get ready folks maybe hold yeah. on to your butts yeah you can totally see lot, that i'm i'm bad at mysteries stuff, but i'm, I'm good at stuff. patience <laughs> yeah there is cool stuff coming i'll tell you that man there is some really really cool stuff coming all over the place so yeah be be prepared um can't wait that doesn't mean you can't back galactic valor you'll be fine Oh yeah, but um, and some other just that soft goods cape is worth thirty bucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, anything C. Justin puts out, man, you're paying you're paying fifty sixty dollars for that thing on the open market. So like, yeah, right. don't don't pass up any soft goods from C. Justin for sure, at the very yeah. least. Um, all right, boys, I think this is show. the last week to pre-order the uh, uh, figure obscure retailer excuse exclusive. Yes, it is. Too, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is that, and then the 15th, is that the date? Yep. 14th, 15th, so. something like that. 12th. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yep. Good call, Joe. Orders need to be in. Yeah. Good one. That's a good I, one. I was thinking yeah. about it today because I haven't put mine in yet. I'm still doing like the math meme, you know. How many <laughs> right. do I want of what, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. I know. In there. Mm -hmm. I know. That's a tricky one. There's so many great parts in those Figura Obscuras, and it's just like. Yeah. I, I, I like, like the the pay in advanced formula myself actually better. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, who knows what's going to be happening in my life later on, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know. I don't. Well, if you do. I, I usually end up going, well, that's tomorrow Joe's problem, but still, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Sometimes I was going to say like, Big Bad Source said, but there's a lot of people that offer that kind of like, you know, hold it for a little while and you're in your, you know pile of loot i know nerd zoic was trying to get something like that going on and I, there's a couple other shops that do that i mean big bad is is the one that's known for it but you can kind of put it in there and like get it when you need it but i think you only get like three months to have it sit there so right uh, but, but you pay for it right before. away you know when it comes in so um do you all, all my stuff does all the pre-orders that i've done oh i guess it does charge you doesn't it and then yeah. you just don't have to ship it until you yeah that's true yeah. right yeah. All right. Never mind. 
But hey, everybody, get at least one of everything, right? You, you're you're I would not going to so. regret it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, if you're happy amazing. with the figure obscuras that you got, I mean, I love all of them, but like for me, the priority is that uh, Fisher Rice and the Skellies, man. Yeah, I love that same. skeleton. I love that mm -hmm. carved head, that new carved head. Yeah, looks incredible. Up close. And yeah. I'm just, I just love, I love the fact that they did this. It's just yeah. fantastic. You know, uh, and I know a lot of people don't like the 2.0 figures. Uh, I love 2.0s. And I think the 2.0 skeletons look maybe the best, the most like, uh, you know, they could be a skeleton of an, another figure. Inside so a figure, a exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm a yeah. fan of the, the 2.0 skeletons. So. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Anytime we get a, variety of yeah you know scales and sizes for sure yeah yeah I'm, i mean i like the skeletons the the big 1.0 skeletons that we're getting but i don't know that i'd display a lot of those without a robe or something on them you know what i mean to kind of hide that a little bit i do like the skinnier skeletons right. i mean yeah. you know without armor the 1.0 the original 1.0 is a cool because they're all armored up but um i really like the 2.0 the only thing i never liked about the 2.0 builder one was the color of the bone which was a little i don't know kind of yellow yeah yeah, a little yeah. Yellow on it. not great but yeah uh these look great dude this yeah. this is a definitive yeah. 2.0 skeleton right mm -hmm. here man this thing is incredible looking you know it, it always makes me think back to uh like the old D D art from the 80s that the necromancer you know raising a bunch of skeletons they had that they always had that 2.0 yep. look you know mm -hmm. yeah, so that's, cool yeah the Hildebrand not that i'm planning out. to take that picture or anything it's just something i've been thinking about so. uh <laughs> yeah i could yeah okay joe all right joe i see where you're going i know what you're doing i see what you're doing i don't know if anybody saw joe's recent picture of poxis but <laughs> Stay in your lane, Joe. Stay in your yeah. lane, buddy. So, yeah. No, it looks great. It, 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 it yeah, really looked great. Uh, I told you that yesterday. Yeah, great. well done, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I had gone on vacation, and I had actually been busy my entire vacation, and it was like the last day of my vacation, and I was like, I'm going to do something fun today. So I just sat down and, and took a couple, you know, pictures, and I, I've been – watching you guys for so long if you if you pay attention you'll pick up a few things like you guys are the pros Absolutely. you know and and that's just what i i did was just kind of i had had an idea for this for a while and um it was kind of fun uh i think my favorite part in it, and nobody's commented on it yet but if you look at the hands of the knights um he's actually dropping his shield and his sword and i had actually used a little gummy tack his hand is open. The sword is actually stuck to one of the lights off screen. Oh, nice. So nice. It, it looks like he's <laughs> dropping it. And oh, that's nice. That was, I thought that was fun. Yeah. I that's good, yeah. man. That's, that's it, part of the yeah. tips and tricks that you pick up Get on. some little, uh, you can get these um, alligator clips on, um, um, uh, what do you call these things? Cre uh, neck, uh, gooseneck. Um, oh. It, uh, and the bottom is a magnet. You can get on Amazon. I'll send you a link. Yeah. Uh, okay. But then you have those little one, two, three blocks that are that are mm -hmm. like steel. They stick right. to those. They're really heavy. And then you can have that gooseneck with the little clamp come off. I actually off. just bought a uh, a soldering station. One of the soldering stations. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's really similar. That has like the yeah has like the the four claws and the magnifying glass. Like this. Yeah, very similar. The one I got has like four of them, but yeah. So it's this, and then this is a real strong magnet. Oh, wow. It will just stick on there, and then you can use this to hold, you know, you got your alligator right clip. That, I was just using cool. this for something that I had to paint it black, but or tape it up. But uh, yeah, uh, good stuff. Right on. Yeah, well, I mean, we put it all out there, man. The, yeah. Hell yeah. Pick your, yeah, that's, really that's a great part. Like, like, I love seeing the behind the scenes and stuff, you know. Um, and you can learn from that if you bother to yeah. take your time and study it. It's all right there. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Where the lights are placed. Trust me, I am light, not you know? a photographer of of any sort. Like it's just <laughs> I just there? watch you guys, and I, I think that that looks fun. You know, and it was kind of the same thing. Yeah, with you've got the art of eye though in your uh, customs that you do. So, well, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate keep at it. it. And I'll, 
Yeah, man. I, here's somebody with no artistic skill doing it. I'm just saying that anybody, you know, there's 78 people watching. They can all do whatever they put their mind to if they absolutely use the resources 100%. that are available. Hundred percent. And it's all fun. Sure. Play with something because you don't know if you yeah. if you you know if you're trying customizing and you're you're frustrated with that or something. You know, try pop and swap if you, you want to go beyond that. Or you're doing customizing and you're like, hey, people got to see these great customs mm -hmm. I'm making. Jump into some photography, learn how to take just a simple picture in front of a simple background, nicely lit so that you can show off your customs. Um, there's a bunch of people who do that very well. And then you can mm -hmm. take it beyond that, too. You know what I mean? You can just go go a little further if you enjoy that type of thing. But uh, I mean, there's right. it's great. The toy collecting now is there's so many offshoot hobbies to mm -hmm. just the the picking up of the toys, and, uh, and right. especially in yeah. this and it gets you genre and in this line. So. Yeah. Right, right. And and the fun thing for me is it gets me touching my toys again. You know, I, I, I collect Mythic Legions. I have them all and, and they're all just sitting on a shelf. I enjoy looking yeah. at them, but yeah. I don't touch them very often. Yeah, it's, it's a way to interact yeah. for sure, man. But, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm just trying to, try to see if... Um, just answering Caleb's. Um, I'm looking on my link tree. Oh, here we go. Okay, so... All right, I don't, I don't mean to plug this, but... I don't usually like to plug. I don't know why, but I don't usually like to plug myself here. Um, so if you go to my link tree, uh, and that's, you can get to there right here, right here mm. on my bio. You go to link tree, products I use on Amazon, and that'll open up uh, this, and there you go. That's the two-pack uh, magnetic mm. flexible gooseneck mouse. So you get two of them for 15 bucks. That's great. Um I just this is the rock wall that I just used for that dwarf shot right there, so you can get that for twenty two bucks. Uh, and these are the the three two one blocks, which are really nice. They 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 will hold things in place. They will you can put trees in them. You can you can put wire in them to hook up a figure, and it will and it will hold them down without oh. falling over. So they're really versatile things. Two of those for twenty bucks is a bargain. So nice. yeah, I have this up there. You can they're buy the stuff. Yeah, yes, it helps me big. out a little bit. Not much, but it does. What were you saying, Nate? I'm sorry. They're not that big, you know. They don't take no. a lot of space. So when you're set, no. you know, doing a setup, you don't want a huge footprint to get in the way of stuff. So yeah, it's it's very tiny. It's the size of your hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, and, and they have other sizes too. They have bigger ones and smaller right ones. On. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have Good to get stuff. me some of those. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I think that's the show. Um, Joe, what's Joe, coming, what up coming up on uh, Off World this Friday? <laughs> I don't know if they have a subject yet but something we always have a good time you know um yeah it, it's for a like long time out. too <laughs> yeah right each and every every friday night uh for i don't know until curtis says we have to stop so <laughs> but uh it's just fun i i just enjoy hanging out with everybody it to me it doesn't matter what the topics are i i love seeing chat at and, and just you know trying to make fun out of out of whatever we're doing so That's anybody awesome. that wants right. to stop in and hang out with us on friday night yeah feel free to i'd love to see you there good i gotta go. one of these days i'll do my best uh, to hop in there usually got stuff going on but i've been really wanting to hang with you guys so we'll make it happen right yeah, on, so let's right go on. off world podcast um hit them up it's fun i mean and it's like you know you could so what time you guys start usually six o'clock usually uh my That's time. Your time so nine yeah. nine nine o'clock yeah yeah and usually if you jump on there if you've you know gone to do a workout or eat some cereal come back they're still on like 11 30. Right. <laughs> they're still going <laughs> they're still talking well, you're gonna you know, jump into some conversation that you don't understand at first but then it's you're just gonna fall right into like hey all right well, like like this one here with the movie brackets you, you yeah you know that was good gonna one. cause hate and discontent you know so <laughs> oh we're, yeah we're four we're four For very sure. different people too you oh, know yeah. and i think that that's that's part that of the makes for good discussion then yeah yeah absolutely yeah. we were For gonna sure. rarely agree on things <laughs> This Thomas. Is super nice from Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Nate. Yeah. Thanks, Thomas. Four ninety nine. Appreciate you guys. Been a tough few days, and this always cheers me up. Thanks for fostering a positive and supportive community. Sorry thanks, to hear Thomas. you've been going through a tough time, buddy. But uh, yeah, man. Glad you're with us, and uh, you are a part of it. Thanks, Thomas. 
for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm a very positive person too. Um, even when he's <laughs> going through some stuff, that's that's the thing, man. That's it's it's awesome. Yeah. People are people are great in this community, and um, they were talking about it yesterday on just shelve it um, with well, probably one of the most positive people in the in the community. Yeah. 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 Again, man, if you even if you did watch it, <laughs> go watch yeah. it again. Yeah. Like yeah, uh, Curtis was saying, it's just one of those things to rewatch that if you are feeling a little low, that'll perk you right back up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Excellent, excellent attitude. Um, and Jesse, what am I trying to say? I'm not, what am I, what do you mean? What am I trying to say? It's, it, it's it, something about awesome. It's a good right? show. Mm. It's a fun yeah. show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, kids, that's it. We're done. Um, what did we learn? Did we learn anything? No, we learned some pop talking about we toys is fun. Yeah, yeah heck yeah, good. man. We learned about Galactic Valor. We learned uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you got to get your orders in for, uh, yeah, we learned a lot of stuff. It was a good night. Yeah. It was a good night of learning and fun. Damn good night. It's like a after school special. It was great. Yeah. All right, kids. Um, we will see you in two weeks. Who the hell knows what we're going to talk about there? We got the mystery squares <laughs> might have been revealed by then. We yeah. might have mm -hmm. another uh, Legion's I Con. We, I think we, we've got something planned for two weeks from now. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do, don't we? Yeah, be that's fun. Right. Fun chat. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody, for uh, joining us. And thank you very much for the Super Chats. Appreciate it. And hit that like and tell us, uh, you know, what uh, What should we ask? What's a, what's, a, what's a good question for everybody to ask? What do they what think, they think squares that, are about, man? Yeah. That's, yeah, all right. Tell us what you think the squares topic. mean, what you hope they mean. Uh, if, if you have hopes and you don't have any idea what they mean, but you just hope they mean, you know. A dragon, a 48, <laughs> 48 new dwarf figures, and those are the colors of their clothing. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> let, us, let us know how you feel. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers. Good night, everybody.